Welcome to the Fantasy Audiobook. Hokage. I, Naruto Become Stronger by God Reward Working System. Chapter 81. Oh, are you saying that Kakashi wants to exchange the training method of the indestructible golden body with you? Naruto looked at Shao Li with interest. Yes, but he seems to be talking about us. Does he know us? Shao Li answered seriously. Even Neji and Sasuke looked solemn at this moment. Don't worry, I was the one who let Kakashi find us, but he doesn't know our true strength. Kakashi is an ally that can be won over. Don't worry too much. This transaction is not only a test for us, but also a real interest in the indestructible golden body. Naruto's mouth curled up a smile. Kakashi was able to wait until now to contact him, and in this way. Kakashi is really smart. What Kakashi didn't know was that Naruto already knew that Kakashi knew of their existence. How much do you know about Kakashi? Naruto asked again, looking at the others with a smile on his face. Kakashi, I don't know much about him, but he is said to be a powerful Jonin. Neji said with a frown, Sasuke didn't care about anything other than training. I know, Naruto once said that Kakashi is a white-haired man with great wisdom. Shaoli said confidently. Naruto couldn't help but glare at him. He knew he was slandering him. How could he say that? I know you don't know, so let me introduce Kakashi to you. Naruto used Earth Escape to create a few wooden stools, and after they sat down one after another, looking at their curious expressions, Naruto said, Kakashi, his father is Hitaki Sakumo, who is known as the White Fang of Konoha. His father's strength is no less than that of the third Hokage. He is also much stronger than the current Kakashi. His White Fang swordsmanship is superb and he can be called a battlefield harvester. Ninjas from other ninja villages are allowed to give up their missions when they meet him. When Naruto said this, several people were shocked. You know, in this world, missions are extremely important to ninjas. I didn't expect Kakashi's father to have such a deterrent power. Naruto continued. And Kakashi is the son of Konoha White Fang Hitaki Sakumo. At that time, he was known as a super genius, overwhelming a group of geniuses, the best of that class. Sasuke and Neji looked at each other with shock in their eyes. They didn't expect Naruto to describe Kakashi so highly. Kakashi was a genin at the age of five. He graduated in the same year. He was a chunin at the age of six, and created the A-level lightning-style ninjutsu chidori at the age of twelve. At the age of thirteen, he created the S-level lightning-style ninjutsu, Chidori's advanced ninjutsu reikiri, which is said to be able to cut off lightning. Naruto didn't waste any words and directly told him Kakashi's information. Sasuke and Neji looked at each other again, their eyes full of shock. Kakashi was so amazing, he went to the battlefield as a genin at the age of five, and he was a chunin at the age of six, and he created a high-level ninjutsu when he graduated almost as soon as they did. What kind of talent is this? Sasuke, Kakashi is Uchiha Itachi's predecessor. Naruto mentioned casually. A murderous intent rose up instantly, Naruto frowned and shouted, Sasuke, calm down. After Naruto's scolding, Sasuke calmed down and said with a gloomy face, Sorry, I lost my temper. Several people also knew about Sasuke's situation, so they naturally understood it, and quickly moved on from it and returned to the topic of Kakashi. Kakashi is such a genius, why haven't we heard of him before? Ninki said puzzledly, he only knew a little about Kakashi. Others' rumors about him were just that he was a powerful janin and an outstanding ninja. Kakashi's title as a copy ninja was rarely spread out, and it was basically circulated in the ninja circle. Ninki and the others naturally didn't know. If Kakashi is such a genius, why is he still a janin now? Sasuke frowned, finding something unreasonable. Seeing Sasuke's strange expression and even Neji's puzzled expression, Naruto spoke again, Kakashi used to be a genius, but only before the age of 13. After that, Kakashi fell into a period of depression for a long time because of the death of his best friend, and he was obsessed with Jiraiya's works. What is Jiraiya's work, and who is Jiraiya? Idiot, you don't even know Master Jiraiya, Master Jiraiya is the legendary Sanin. But I really don't know what works Master Jiraiya has written. Neji looked at Sasuke with disdain, and then fell into deep thought, thinking about what works Master Jiraiya has written. Haha, you don't need to understand this, haha. Naruto laughed awkwardly. Can I tell you what book it is? 
Can I tell you if my fame still exists? But Jiraiya does have some talent in this area. Having said that, I think this deal is feasible, and according to what Kakashi said, he must know about us, and his ninjutsu this time is probably prepared for Sasuke. Naruto smiled in his heart, since Kakashi wants to get in touch with me in this way, I will help him. Although the indestructible golden body is precious, Kakashi's ninjutsu is equally extraordinary. And now the indestructible golden body can only be cultivated to the level of rakage. That is the level of the golden body. As for the next stage of the indestructible golden body, Naruto is still conceiving, and he needs to borrow the power of natural energy. However, judging from the current situation, there is no need to think about natural energy within one or two years. Although there is the ability of God rewarding hard work, it is really a bit difficult to create something from nothing, because if it is not used well, it is very likely to be assimilated by natural energy. Therefore, Naruto is currently very careful in his research on natural energy. After Naruto's last epiphany, he has been able to sense the existence of natural energy from the surrounding environment. However, he still has no idea how to use it. The three holy places in the original work have a high degree of recognition of natural energy. Myoboku Mountain failed and turned into a toad, and the same is true for Ryachi Cave. After failure, it will either turn into food or into a snake man stone statue. As for the wet bone forest is similar. But it rarely succeeds. Among the three holy places, only Myoboku Mountain is relatively docile to absorbing chakra, and has the highest success rate. Jiraiya, Minato Namikaze and later Naruto have successfully cultivated into sage mode there. The technique used after entering sage mode can be called sage technique. The combat power is expected to be super shadow level. And to enter sage mode, the minimum requirement is shadow level. Naruto does not want to practice the sage mode of any of the three holy places, because Naruto thinks that the sage mode of the three holy places is weird. Or the upper limit is not high, there is always a kind of incomplete version. The sages of the three holy places are very long-lived, and humans who have learned the sage mode seem to have no lifespan bonus in addition to a great increase in combat power. And these three holy places cannot help you for free. As long as they are intelligent creatures, they will always have something to ask for. Therefore, Naruto cannot risk the hidden dangers to go to the three holy places to learn sage mode. The best way is to constantly use the ability of God's way to reward hard work to develop his own sage mode. Naruto has already finalized the deal with Kakashi, so Lee found Kakashi the next day. Might Guy was not there, and it was said that he was on a mission. Kakashi's actual mission was not easy, but now he wanted to improve his strength, and he was devoted to it, and the third generation also approved Kakashi's leave. There is no shortage of elite Jonin in the village, but what is lacking is the real high-end combat power. Konoha is getting more and more withered now, and there are only a few shadow-level existences now. Therefore, the third generation hopes that Kakashi's strength can be improved. After all, in the eyes of the third generation, Kakashi and he are in the same group. Kakashi in his early years was dazzling, but Kakashi in recent years is indeed a pity for the third generation. When he was as old as Kakashi, he had steadily entered the shadow level level, but Kakashi has hardly made any progress in these years. The development of ninjutsu itself has completely stagnated, and now it relies particularly on the Sharingan, which makes the third generation a little disappointed. Kakashi's own talent is above the three Magatama. Kakashi's talent is even stronger than White Fang's when he was a child. At this moment, there are several more people on the number 8 training ground. The number 8 training ground has been reserved by Kakashi. In the past month, no one will come to this training ground. Unless they are told that there is a vacancy in this training ground. Naruto appeared on this training ground with Uchiha Sasuke, Hayuga Neji and Rock Lee. At this time, Naruto stepped forward and said, Hello, Kakashi Jonin, regarding your proposal for this transaction, I believe you also know that Rock Lee is a physical ninja and can't use your ninjutsu, but Sasuke and your ninjutsu are very compatible. If possible, I hope you can change the object of the transaction to Sasuke. Kakashi squinted one eye, and the other eye was tightly wrapped under the forehead protector. He looked at Naruto's appearance and listened to Naruto's slow talk. He also knew that his test was seen through by Naruto, and he also got the answer he wanted. 
Naruto had bought all the people in Konoha before, so there was no reason why he hadn't been discovered at that time. However, he was not sure. This time, he got the answer he wanted. It was Uzumaki Naruto who deliberately let him know the truth. His presence here was evidence and a symbol of a hidden showdown. The two looked at each other and understood each other. Yes, Kakashi said it briefly, without letting the young Sasuke and Neji see it. Sasuke and Neji also began to look at this guy who was called a super genius by Naruto. He was wearing a Jonin vest, with white hair standing high, and his forehead tilted to cover one eye. It should be the Sharingan that Naruto mentioned. The whole person seemed a little lazy, but his eyes revealed a gleam. He looked a little bit capable, but not like a master, right? Of course, the two would not judge people by their appearance. According to Naruto's explanation, the two took Kakashi very seriously. Kakashi claimed to have learned thousands of ninjutsu, which was not something that ordinary people could do. This also meant that Kakashi had many battle plans. In fact, this was also the origin of his nickname, 5050. The rich ninjutsu allowed him to deal with any type of ninja calmly. The gap was too big to mention. Sasuke, the next one will be your teacher. Study hard, his ninjutsu is very suitable for you. Naruto turned and said to Sasuke behind him. Sasuke nodded. Naruto had told him before that after learning Kakashi's ninjutsu, his strength would be greatly improved. Sasuke nodded and looked at Kakashi. After a two-second pause, Sasuke said, Kakashi Jonin, I heard that you were a powerful ninja in the village, and you also have the title of Konoha Technician Copy Ninja Kakashi. Before that, I hope to challenge you. Kakashi was a little angry and laughed. The boy in front of him actually challenged him without knowing his own limitations. Naruto was okay, Kakashi was not sure, but he didn't take Uchiha Sasuke seriously. I also want to challenge you, Kakashi Jonin. Ningji stood up and said, and bowed to Kakashi with respect in his tone. There was no problem with etiquette, as expected of a member of the Hyuga family. Naruto put himself and Kakashi on the same level. Okay, let me show you, come on together. Kakashi glanced at Naruto, who didn't move at all, obviously acquiescing to the two's behavior. He didn't know whether they were sent by Naruto to test his strength or they were just two young and frivolous teenagers. Naruto smiled lightly, and gave up the venue with Shao Li. At the same time, he nodded to Sasuke and Neji. The two understood immediately, meaning not to show all their strength. Let's get started, Mr. Kakashi. The two of them took their positions and used the chakra dialogue room developed by Naruto to start communicating. In a moment, they formulated a strategy. Sasuke quickly formed hand seals. The hand seals he had practiced in the past few years were not in vain. Sasuke's current hand seal speed was no worse than any chunin. Even comparable to Jonin. Fire style. Great dragon fire technique. Eight diagrams fierce wind palm. Fire borrowed from the wind, and the power of Sasuke's ninjutsu increased again, and he hit Kakashi. The powerful ninjutsu hit Kakashi instantly. Bang! A cloud of smoke appeared, which turned out to be a substitute technique. The two did not hesitate and hit another place, and it was Kakashi's figure. Kakashi quickly formed a seal, and the speed of forming a seal was slightly faster than Sasuke. Facing the attacks of the two, Kakashi countered them. He was very good at ninjutsu. The two people's eyes lit up. Kakashi's combination and use of various ninjutsu were indeed refreshing. Earth style. Earth flow wall. It's just that, Kakashi's earth style always carves a dog's head. Is this a way to increase the power? The two's attacks hit the earth flow wall, and they found that it was no different from an ordinary earth flow wall. Naruto on the side was speechless. Does Kakashi have too much chakra? I have so many cards, but you can't play as many tricks as me. The head can be cut off, the blood can flow, and the dog head earth flow wall must be there. Sasuke and Neji also showed solemn expressions on their faces. Kakashi is really not simple. Facing the joint efforts of the two, he can even carve a dog head on the earth flow wall. Although the two did not fire at full power. The immortal golden body. The two of them immediately used the immortal golden body, and different colors bloomed on their bodies. A more powerful aura emerged from their bodies. Kakashi's eyes condensed. Is this the physical technique that Shaoli practiced? 
it's really not simple. Except for the color change and the strength increase, there are no other changes in the two people. This means that the two people do not have side effects like the eight gates of ninjutsu, or it may be that the side effects can be within the range of the body's tolerance. In an instant, Neji and Sasuke's speed sword, and Kakashi directly revealed his Sharingan. In a flash, the three of them collided. The two were pushed back three steps by Kakashi's white fang sword technique. Kakashi took a step back. The speed reached the level of an ordinary janin. The strength barely reached the level of an ordinary janin. With the rich methods of the two in their own bloodline limits, one of them can rival a janin. Kakashi was a little shocked. These two were even more perverted than he was back then. Kakashi was on the battlefield back then, so relatively speaking, his training time was not as long as the two, but the tempering of battle was far beyond the ordinary training. From this point of view, who is stronger and who is weaker between them is a matter of opinion. Sasuke and Neji looked at each other, and seeing that they had been unable to defeat Kakashi for a long time, they suddenly had some understanding of Kakashi's strength. There is no false reputation under a great name. Even though Kakashi's strength has improved slowly over the years, it can be said that there are almost no people who can defeat Kakashi at the level of Jonin. Unless they are cheating. But how can there be so many cheating people these days? Kakashi on the side was also secretly shocked by the strength of the two. Sasuke's attack is mainly based on lightning escape, supplemented by fire escape, and secondly on physical skills. However, his attack is a little immature, but his chakra control is still excellent. Hayuga Neji is a soft fist, but the style makes Kakashi a little strange, as if it is different from the soft fist he knows more. One is mainly for long-range attack, and the other is for close combat. Sometimes they can even switch between each other. They are worthy of being the pride of the Uchiha clan and the Hayuga clan. With such strength, it is no problem for the two to join forces to defeat an ordinary janin. But, Hikakashi is not an ordinary janin. It's time to end the battle. Reikiri. A huge lightning flash appeared from Kakashi's hand. The highly condensed chakra aggregate looked extraordinary in strength. Naruto's mouth twitched at the side. Kakashi, is that necessary? He even used Reikiri. Kakashi's speed soared again under the stimulation of the lightning attribute chakra. The powerful aura emanating from Reikiri instantly shocked the two people. What made Naruto a little speechless was that Kakashi shamelessly used the killing intent to deter the two people. Under such an offensive, the two people's bodies froze, and Kakashi had already passed in front of them. The two were fine, but the surrounding training ground had been cut into a deep gully by Kakashi. It was obvious that Kakashi changed the attack path. Sasuke and Neji stared at the scene in front of them blankly. Is this the strength of a janin? The two were a little arrogant before, thinking that even a janin could be defeated, but now they were easily defeated by Kakashi, and Kakashi had not become stronger for a long time, so he still remained at the level of a janin. Elite janin is also a janin, right? How powerful would the shadow level be? For a moment, the pride of the two was severely hit by Kakashi. Naruto, who was watching from the side, thought it was a good thing. After all, the gap between their current strength and that of the students in the ninja school was too big, which made them a little bit inflated. If it weren't for Naruto's pressure, Sasuke might have been as arrogant as in the original work. He could also see that Kakashi's purpose of doing this was to show his strength and show the power of his ninjutsu. Moreover, the reikiri that Kakashi showed now did not require hand seals, which attracted Sasuke and Naruto's attention to reikiri or to Kakashi's attention. Kakashi's reikiri can be hand sealed or not. The hand seal is to better mobilize chakra and reduce loss. In the original work, Kakashi used the hand seal of reikiri when facing Zabuza, and later when facing Orochimaru, he used a reikiri directly, because when facing a strong man, sometimes the gap between hand seals can also lead to his own defeat. Okay, let's stop here. Naruto clapped his hands and walked in front of the people and said. I told you not to look down on the world, now you see it. Naruto's words also alerted the two of them, and they all showed guilty expressions. Sorry, Naruto. We were too arrogant. They both apologized to Naruto. Naruto, you have also seen Kakashi's strength. I wonder how long it will take to defeat him. Sasuke suddenly asked curiously at this time. Hearing Sasuke say this, Naruto's mind automatically added a battle scene. First, 
a set of ninjutsu baptism, and then a set of ninjutsu plowing. With the advantage of chakra, I'm afraid Kakashi can't hold on for 10 minutes. If he uses the wind escape spiral shuriken, if Kakashi doesn't use Kamui, cough cough, whoever he hits will die. Naruto's current strength, with the blessing of God's reward for hard work, has reached a terrifying level. Ahem, if I use ninjutsu, 10 minutes will be no problem. Hearing Naruto's words, the two nodded. Hum, Naruto's strength is indeed unfathomable. Even Kakashi can be defeated in 10 minutes. Kakashi on the side narrowed his eyes. He also consumed a lot. After listening to Naruto's words, use ninjutsu. Should he rely on the huge chakra of the Uzumaki clan to drag himself to death? It is indeed enviable, but Kakashi does not think that he can't hold on for 10 minutes. But if there is a high probability that Naruto will win, Kakashi also agrees. He should not be able to see through Naruto at all, but instead has a feeling of being seen through. How to say it, should he say that he is worthy of being the teacher's child? Thinking of Naruto's conversation with Shisui, and then thinking of Naruto's identity and his father's affairs, Kakashi secretly made up his mind. Kakashi, Jonin, you are also a smart person. I will tell you straight, your ninjutsu is S-level, but our indestructible golden body is also not bad, and we can currently cultivate to the level of the golden body. In other words, he can practice to the highest level of cage, and his physical body can be as strong as the chakra armor of the rakage. It is no problem for him to match your S-level rakiri in level, and he also has subsequent training methods. What? Kakashi's originally dull eyes suddenly widened, and he looked at Naruto in disbelief. He originally thought that the strength of the indestructible golden body was at most at the level of cage, but he didn't expect Naruto to throw such a bomb at this moment. After he got over his surprise, he naturally understood what Naruto meant by saying this, which was that it was not enough, and he had to pay more. What do you mean? Kakashi glanced at him. Naruto smiled. It's good to deal with smart people. It doesn't take much effort. Let's exchange sides. You help Sasuke practice ninjutsu, and I'll help you practice the immortal golden body. We don't have time to waste, what do you think? If I build it myself, it will probably take three months. With Kakashi's help, Sasuke can master it in one month. Kakashi is the same, so he naturally won't refuse. Happy cooperation. The two held hands tightly and smiled at each other. This was the first step of their cooperation, but I'm afraid only the two of them knew that this was not a simple transaction. Sasuke stared blankly at the two people in front of him. Naruto did all this for himself, and he had no benefit at all. But he was still willing to do this for himself. In fact, there are very few such people in the ninja world, except for the closest people. In the following days, everyone spent almost all their time in constant training, and over time, Sasuke's name for Kakashi became Kakashi Teacher. Because sometimes Kakashi would teach Sasuke some insights on the use of the Sharingan. And he would also explain some fighting experiences, which benefited Naruto a lot. Battlefield fighting plus 5, combat skills plus 6. Naruto's mouth curled up, what a pleasant surprise. When teaching Sasuke and the others, what Kakashi found incredible was that Sasuke and Neji were still within the normal range of geniuses. And according to his observation, they might have seen blood. When explaining, he just hoped that they could absorb some experience. Sometimes there is a difference between not fighting and fighting. Especially the battle of life and death. And Naruto was not only able to fully absorb what he said, but also felt like he had really been on the battlefield. The whole person had a solemn temperament. If he didn't restrain his breath, others might think that Naruto had really participated in many battlefield battles. And Naruto also felt as if he had fought on the battlefield for several years. He didn't expect Kakashi to gain so much from explaining these. Of course, this all depends on the ability of God to reward hard work. Time passed slowly, and the shadow clone sent to the Kingdom of Wind had already returned. The Shadow Clone taught Gara there for a month, and in order to develop Gara's magnetic escape, Naruto got a lot of knowledge about magnetism and electricity. The ninjas in the ninja world still have two one-sided understanding of magnetic escape, and they only know how to use it to control metal. If Gara forms electromagnetic force on the basis of magnetic force, this is one of the four basic forces in the universe. Developed to the top, it is definitely an extraordinary existence. 
For example, if the electromagnetic force field is developed, it is just a matter of sprinkling water to achieve flight. And first of all, it is to let Gara master the key to magnetism and electricity. Then form electromagnetic force. If it is developed well, Gara may not be able to reach the super shadow level in the future, or even stronger. During this period of time, in addition to training, Neji also won over two ninjas from the branch family, whose strength is both elite chunin level. At the age of a teenager, it is also a very good branch family ninja. The two may not be able to become elite Jonin in the future, which can be regarded as the level of little geniuses. And because of this, the two are even more indignant about becoming a slave like a branch family. This is when Neji found an opportunity and sent it to Naruto. Master Naruto, as long as we can remove the caged bird curse, we are willing to do anything you ask us to do. The two Hyuga branch ninjas knelt on one knee in front of Naruto, shaking uncontrollably, obviously very excited. The two of them were almost obsessed with being able to remove the caged bird. And now, Naruto gave them this opportunity. I can free you from the control of the caged birds, but this is not free, you have to serve me for three years. My seal is only for one year, if you reveal my existence or betray the organization, you will continue to be your caged birds. Of course, in just three years, you can be completely free. Naruto held a carrot in one hand and a stick in the other. In three years, the two agreed without any hesitation. Three years in exchange for lifelong freedom for the two of them, obviously what is more profitable, the two of them naturally understood. What are your names? Introduce yourself. Naruto looked at the two and said. My name is Hanada Shoyo. Chakra attribute is Earth. I am good at Hanada style boxing. My name is Hayuga Kai. My chakra attributes are water and wind, I am good at Hayuga style boxing, and I have learned some medical ninjutsu. The two introduced one after another, but the latter made Naruto's eyes light up. Medical ninjas are rare, let alone medical ninjas from Hayuga. In Naruto's eyes, the Hayuga clan is really suitable for medical ninjutsu. The Byakugan can see through the body's meridians, and they know much more about the human body than ordinary ninjas, and can also learn medical ninjutsu better. Let me make it clear first, I am only using the sealing technique to free you from the control of the caged bird. If you want to truly remove the caged bird curse, I am afraid I can only research it in a year. After three years, I can truly remove the caged bird for you. In these three years, if you work hard to contribute to the organization, I may be able to help you remove the caged bird in advance. You guys take care of yourself. After saying that, Naruto directly began to cast a sealing technique that could cut off the control of the caged bird on the two of them, and ask the two to go to the location where Shisui was, leaving a communication code and some communication methods, and Naruto let the two leave. After the two left, Neji said a little worriedly, Naruto, do you really want to let them go to the base camp? It's okay, I know you are worried. Actually, I am worried too, so I tampered with the sealing technique. If they betray me, the sealing technique I cast may not be another bird in a cage. If they work hard and have no ulterior motives, the caged bird curse will be lifted for them in three years. Ninki didn't expect Naruto to have thought the situation through, and he understood it immediately. That's right, when has Naruto ever made an unsure account? But there was still something that puzzled Ninki, and he couldn't help but say, Naruto, they are very good reconnaissance ninjas, and their future combat power may not be able to reach the level of elite Jonin. It's only three years, right? Ha ha ha, Ninki, I knew you were going to ask this. After three years, I can indeed let them go. After all, this is a deal. But if they are reluctant to leave after three years, it's not my problem. Naruto patted Nechi on the shoulder and smiled. What if they want to leave? If they really want to leave, it means we are really a failure. If we can't even subdue them, how can we conquer the ninja world? Naruto said in a deep voice. Neji was slightly startled, then smiled at each other. Since you have already made up your mind, let's bet everything. Hanada Shoyo and Hanada Kai, who had just been sent over, had brought Naruto unexpected gains in just one week. Naruto opened the letter from Shisui and read it slowly. After reading it, Naruto's mouth curled up slightly, and he murmured, I didn't expect Tsunade to run to Shisui's hands. Since she has entered the umbrella, she should stay and work obediently. 
Naruto immediately rode back to Shisui and handed the letter to the Seven Colors Chamber of Commerce in the village. It was composed of special codes, and no one could understand it except them. Shisui here just received the letter and couldn't wait to read it. He had never thought that the two new medical ninjas in the organization were actually Tsunade, one of the famous three ninjas. The two people from the Hyuga clan used the Byakugan to explore Tsunade's identity. The huge chakra in Tsunade's body aroused Shisui's suspicion, so he sent people to investigate. Speaking of this, it was because Tsunade was not strict enough, and Shizune's identity was discovered, or it was discovered by ordinary people in the organization, because Tsunade had wandered the ninja world with Shizune before, and Shizune had always been by Tsunade's side. The so-called Kato Shizuka's huge chakra, except Tsunade, I'm afraid there is no one else. Once Shisui met Tsunade, it might disrupt Naruto's steps. Shisui and Tsunade have met several times. Only then did he ask Naruto about his plan. After reading Naruto's letter, Shisui couldn't help but mourn for Tsunade. In the letter, Naruto replied that Tsunade should not be allowed to see the top for the time being, and let her climb up step by step, in order to prevent Tsunade from losing patience. This time is set to more than a year, and by this time, Naruto should have graduated. By then, it won't be a problem even if the organization is exposed. And there are many divisions of medical technology in the organization. This is the medical system of Naruto's previous life. Although he doesn't understand technology, it doesn't prevent him from proposing the system and then letting it be studied. A complete medical system road, Tsunade should be very interested. First squeeze out her medical technology. This is not considered exploitation of labor. Oh. Have you found Fenghua Shaoshui? At this moment, in the land of waves, Shisui looked at his men in front of him and said. As their organization continued to grow, the shortcomings of the land of waves began to emerge. It was small in area and its geographical location was not very advantageous. Located in the southeastern coastal area of the land of fire, there is only one bridge leading to the outside world. Although it is relatively hidden, Basically no ninjas from other places will come to this small country. But there is no hidden place, and it is adjacent to the hidden mist village. So Naruto and Shisui plan to move to a suitable place, try to get to the south, and there is another place, the land of snow. In the south, choose the land of tea. It is isolated from several major countries and surrounded by the vast ocean. Only the land of fire is relatively close. However, Due to its geographical location, it is not troubled by war, but its land area is not small. As the saying goes, eggs cannot be put in one basket. It is very normal to develop everywhere. Their organization members are all over the world, and the Seven Colors Chamber of Commerce almost covers the ninja world. So it is not a problem to establish several bases. The business of the land of tea is very developed, and it is a grain exporter of 30% on the market. Therefore, it is necessary to establish an umbrella base, which can also become a food pocket for the umbrella, thereby controlling the lifeline of food in the ninja world. Although it will not lead to death, if the tea kingdom does not sell food, it will definitely be injured. After all, ninjas are also human beings, and humans need to eat. Once a battle occurs, a supply of food and grass is needed. Therefore, Naruto must win this country. The Tea Kingdom is also a country without a ninja village, so it is easy for Shisui and others to take over this country. As for the Snow Kingdom, Naruto had proposed to seize the power of the Snow Kingdom before, mainly to obtain the Chakra Armor technology of the Snow Kingdom ninja village. However, the information obtained before was that the Chakra had not been completed yet, and now the Chakra Armor has been researched, so it is time to pick peaches. Now there are a lot more people, in order to cause unnecessary waste, it has been delayed until now. The purpose of searching for Fenghua Shaoshui is to legitimately change the regime. After all, this world attaches great importance to bloodline. This is why Fenghua Shaoshui's uncle planned for so long to get the throne of king, and finally Fenghua Shaoshui's supporters and Naruto and others regained the throne. He got the throne in an unjust way and lost the support of the people. At the same time, this is also a more ambitious character. He wants to use the chakra armor he developed to become a great power. However, due to insufficient research funds, he hit the treasure of the snow country. However, this so-called treasure is just a geothermal device. In the end, it had to end miserably.
Shisui looked at the information collected by his men. Feng Hua Xiaoshui, the daughter of the former daimyo of the Snow Country, was forced to leave her hometown by her uncle. Now she goes by the alias Fujisan Feng Shuihui and has become a well-known actor. The current Feng Hua Xiaoshui is not what she will be a few years later, so her reputation is not as loud as it was then. It's really dark under the lamp. Who would have thought that a famous actress is actually the daughter of a famous person? Even Feng Hua Nu Dao couldn't have thought of it. Shisui looked through the information and a playful smile appeared on his face. What has Zabuza been busy with recently? Why has he attended fewer meetings? Shisui asked warmly, looking at his subordinates standing below. Lord Zabuza seems to have been practicing hard recently, as if the strength of the Uchiha family has improved rapidly recently, and Lord Zabuza has a sense of crisis. The person who spoke was Hanada Shoyo, who was kept by Shisui as an assistant. He was also very surprised when he first came, and even thought about reporting the situation here to the village, but after a few days, he gradually let go of his prejudice against Uchiha. The life here makes him feel very relaxed. Unlike the oppressive feeling in the clan, he began to gradually like the life here and the ideas here. Here. Ability is very important, and everyone here works very hard, just like Lord Zabuza mentioned just now. He has heard of the reputation of this adult, the legendary demon Zabuza, who killed all the candidates of the same period during the graduation examination, and later became a rebel ninja because of the assassination of the Mizukage. The cruelty is outrageous, but after getting along with him, he found that this adult is not bad. Although he looks cold, he is actually a pretty good person. People. In fact, the reason why Zabuza killed his classmates was to fight against the policy at that time. The Blood Mist Village was very cruel at that time, and killing in blood filled the Hidden Mist Village. Zabaza's killing also successfully made the Hidden Mist Village change its assessment policy, but it was only a temporary solution. Coupled with Obito's secret control, the Hidden Mist Village fell into the Blood Mist again after a period of time, and it lasted until Zabuza failed in the assassination. Recently, Uchiha Izumi has grown up thoroughly and has stabilized at the level of Cage. And Uchiha Yu's strength is also around the quasi cage. In addition, the Uchiha little beans have grown up one after another, and the older ones can already stand on their own. With the blessing of hatred, their Sharingan opened quickly and their strength improved quickly. Naruto is worried about what kind of psychology those kids from the Uchiha family have. Problems, and people have been sent to guide their psychology. After all, there are very few normal people in the Uchiha family who have opened their eyes, or there are many abnormal people in the ninja world. If this situation were in Naruto's previous life, it would be a mental illness. So Naruto first proposed the term, psychologist, in the ninja world. Of course, it is now only circulated in the umbrella protection. In order to train psychologists, Naruto used dozens of shadow clones to explain. The core members of the Umbrella Protection need to go to the Psychological Counseling Center to see a psychologist regularly. Coupled with the education of Red Ideology, most members of the Umbrella Organization have very positive outlooks and a fanaticism. It can't be completely normal, it can only be said that their fanaticism is very suitable for Naruto's requirements. It is also suitable for sacrificing their lives for the organization. Naruto feels that the ninja world needs the profession of psychologist too much, it is really indispensable. Few people pay attention to this psychological issue. After all, in the eyes of others, isn't it normal for ninjas to kill people? The reason why Uchiha Itachi was so easily deceived by the third generation and others, and even felt that he did nothing wrong, thinking about this and that all day long, and not communicating with anyone except Shisui, is that there are psychological problems. In addition, the speed of opening the Sharingan is too fast, it would be strange if he didn't have some mental illness. Maybe he realized his mistakes in the later period, but there is no turning back. He can only choose to bear everything by himself and put all his hopes on his younger brother Sasuke. In other words, many people in the ninja world are not mentally normal. Uchiha Madara, not to mention big problems, must have small problems, and Uchiha Obito has very serious psychological problems. In addition, the death of Nagato and Yahiko directly made him like a different person. What about the third generation, what about Danzo? If you want to say who is the most normal and has the most correct values in the ninja world, it is probably Jiraiya. 
he has his own ninja way, understands politics, and has no big ideas about power. In addition to the personal problem of lust, this is a very admirable person. After Shisui found Fuka Koyuki, he found Zabuza. Seeing Zabuza now, he was more energetic and vigorous. Shisui was very satisfied. It seems that Zabuza has made great progress during this period. There is a mission, are you interested? Shisui pushed a document on the table in front of Zabuza. Zabuza flipped it open and read it carefully, then looked up at Shisui and said unhappily, You think too highly of me, that is a ninja village, although it is a small one. What's more, the worst thing is that you even want me to recruit them. You don't think I can really do it. Is it so easy to help Fenghua Shaoshui take the throne and secretly control the snow country? The nobles of the snow country will not agree to it. Seeing Zabaza's angry look, Shisui waved his hand and said, Don't be so excited, I have sent people to you. How many people? Zabuza asked, and Shisui slowly raised a finger. One person, are you kidding me? Zabuza slammed his hand on the table and looked at Shisui in disbelief. Listen, is this something a human can do? In the original work, Naruto was able to defeat Fenghen Nutao with a bit of luck, which can be said to be the protagonist's halo, but in reality, it is not so easy to conquer a ninja village. Although Songwen Nutao can barely be regarded as an elite Jonin, he is even stronger than an ordinary elite Jonin with the blessing of chakra armor, otherwise he would not be hammered according to Kakashi in the original work. Don't be so anxious, take a look at who this person is first. Shisui smiled and waved his hand, and then a figure walked out from the darkness. The person who came was wearing a hat and a cloak, and the whole person was wrapped in it, but Zabuza still knew who the person in front of him was. He couldn't help but show an excited expression. Master Naruto, why are you here? Zabuza's excitement was beyond words. What, you don't welcome me? The visitor took off his hat, revealing a handsome face with yellow hair and blue eyes, looking a little childish. Naruto looked at the excited Zabuza and said, Don't worry, this time I'm here mainly to help you solve the problem of the snow country. After all, it is one of our next branches. Besides, the chakra armor researched by Fenghen Nutao is still useful, it's just that it hasn't been perfected yet. Once we take over and solve the hidden dangers, it will be enough to turn Jenin into Chunin, and Chunin into Jonin. In this way, we will not lack the basic combat power, and the backbone can be expanded very well. After listening to what Naruto said, Zabuza nodded and said, Since Lord Naruto has come in person, I am naturally not afraid. As the earliest existence to follow Naruto, Zabuza naturally knew Naruto's strength, especially his current strength, which was helped by Naruto. Ninjutsu below S level is readily available, and physical skills have been retrained. Even the chakra refining method has been re-optimized by Naruto. Now the chakra is twice as much as before. Therefore, Zabaza's strength has now reached the quasi-cage level. You still have to be vigilant, I am actually just a shadow clone now. Ah, Zabuza suddenly felt a sense of sorrow after being overjoyed. Naruto patted Zabuza on the shoulder and said, Don't be so pessimistic. My shadow clone has been optimized. It will not dissipate easily even if attacked, unless my core is blown up in one breath. But there should be few people in the ninja world who can do it now. Let's go, carry out the mission. Naruto began to call Zabuza forward. Oh, by the way, let's also call Haku this time. Her ice shield bloodline limit may not be as easy to use in the snow country as a duck in water. As if remembering something, Naruto turned to Zabuza and said. Yes, a group of three people, didn't bring many people, because Naruto felt that it was enough. At this moment, they were talking to Sandefu, a middle-aged man who looked honest and honest, but Naruto, who had reached a very high level of acting skills, naturally saw Sandefu's true nature. This is a shrewd man. At the same time, he has his own ambitions in his heart. Mr. Ninja, as long as you can help Shaoshui to become rich, we will definitely pay you generous rewards. Sandefu said as he looked at Zabuza in front of him. Having hired ninjas before, he also had a certain understanding of ninjas. Especially the young man in front of him, the demon Zabuza. This was the one who could escape unscathed after assassinating the Mizukage. His strength was naturally very strong, but he was still a little worried. He originally wanted to accumulate strength in two years and secretly summon the loyal subordinates of the former daimyo, that is, Shaoshui's father. 
but he didn't expect that a ninja had investigated Xiaoxue's identity and was willing to help them regain control of the country. No matter what the other party's plan is, this opportunity is hard won. If they also want to regain power, they must rely on the power of ninjas, because Fenghua Nutao controls a ninja village and is also a ninja at the upper ninja level. I don't want to go back. I don't want to go back. How can they be a match for Fenghua Nutao, they will die. Fenghua Xiaoshui was terrified at this moment, and it was obvious that she was particularly afraid of Fenghua Nutao. After saying that, she slipped away. The third husband looked embarrassed and said, I'm sorry, my lady is too willful. You guys talk, I'll go bring her back. Naruto's cold voice came out from his cloak, and he disappeared right away. Naruto's performance was eye-opening for Sandayo and the others. Naruto's age was obviously not very old, but his performance at this moment was eye-opening. And with the presence of Zabuza, it was even more convincing. Naruto didn't bring Fenghua Xiaoshui back immediately, but watched her run away slowly, through the crowd, and gradually came to a deserted place. As if she was tired from running, Fenghua Xiaoshui squatted on the ground and sobbed slightly, with big tears flowing down her cheeks. Naruto slowly walked to her side and just stared at her closely. Have you finished crying? If you have, please come back with me. Naruto's indifferent voice sounded beside Fenghua Xiaoshui's ears. Fenghua Xiaoshui raised her head and saw Naruto's handsome and tender face. You guy, don't you know how to be gentle with women? Fenghua Xiaoshui glared at Naruto, her puffed cheeks looked particularly cute. Fenghua. Xiaoshui didn't know that Naruto was just a shadow clone at the moment, and Naruto didn't know why, his shadow clones always had a more prominent personality, for example, the last one was more jumpy, so this shadow clone was more cold, or straight. Women will only affect the speed at which I become stronger. I'm afraid I will only smile in front of familiar people. This may be because the shadow clone does not have a complete soul. It's just a thought. You have no idea how powerful Fenghua Nutao is. You will die, leave quickly, I don't need your help. Fenghua Xiaoshui stood up and glared at Naruto. Naruto disappeared from the spot and appeared behind Fenghua Xiaoshui, kicking her on the butt. Fenghua Xiaoshui fell to the ground, it didn't hurt, but it made her extremely ashamed. She looked up at Naruto again. Naruto thought she would be very angry, but unexpectedly, Fenghua Xiaoshui's eyes were filled with tears at this moment. Fenghua Xiaoshui thought Naruto would apologize to her, but unexpectedly, Naruto glared at her, don't cry. Stand up. Fenghua Xiaoshui wanted to get angry, but for some reason she glanced at Naruto's handsome and cold face and warned, oh. Then she dusted herself off rubbing her sleeves with her hands, and stood beside Naruto with a sheepish look on her face. This made Naruto feel very confused. Does this woman have a masochistic tendency? She was already prepared for a storm, but this is what happened. Not long after, Zabuza and Santefu saw Fenghua Xiaoshui following Naruto back. But Fenghua Xiaoshui followed Naruto with a shy look on her face, like a little woman, which made them a little stunned. What happened to them? But they didn't think much about it. Maybe Fenghua Xiaoshui realized her mistake. After all, she was carrying the hope of a country. Without too much explanation, they began to embark on the road to the snow country. As the name suggests, the snow country is a country shrouded in wind and snow. It is backed by the land of earth, and the neighboring country is the land of demons. The geographical location is relatively good, but the climate is a bit bad. On the way, they also learned some things about Fenghua Nutao from Santefu. Fenghua Nutao is the younger brother of Fenghua Xiaoshui's father Fenghua Zhaoshui. He has always had ambitions in his heart. Therefore, he killed his brother to seize the throne ten years ago in order to obtain the treasure of the snow country. He has always wanted to develop the snow country into an existence comparable to the five major countries. He has been looking for Fenghua Xiaoshui all these years. It's for. The key to unlock the treasure is in Fenghua Xiaoshui's hands, the hexagonal ice crystal. You said they want to go with us too. Zabuza looked at the ordinary people carrying cameras. Sandefu looked embarrassed and said, if they stay with us, the risk of exposure can be reduced. Let's just think of it as going to the snow country to shoot a movie. Mr. Ninja, being able to shoot a phenomenal movie is my lifelong pursuit, this is my dream. Please. 
The director is a middle-aged man with stubble. This time he plans to use the colorful wonders of the rainbow ice wall of the snow country for filming. And he also knows the identity of Feng Hua Xiaoshui, so after this opportunity, Feng Hua Xiaoshui may not be an actor, and without such a talented actor as Feng Hua Xiaoshui, it is almost impossible for him to shoot a phenomenal movie. So he wants to give it a try. Naruto looked at the scene in front of him with interest. The plot seemed to be advanced. The people were still the same people, but it was no longer Team 7 that was carrying out the mission. It was Zabuza, Haku and him. This director is still so dedicated. Zabuza glanced at Naruto inadvertently, only to see Naruto nodded. Zabuza looked at everyone again and said coldly, Let me make it clear first, you all must obey the arrangements, otherwise you will bear the consequences. They are not ninjas who carry out missions for commissions. This operation is only to plan the snow country. Zabuza will not indulge these people. Everyone set off quickly. Because there were still ordinary people, it took them two days to reach the territory of the snow country. At this moment, the wind and snow have begun to fill the air. Naruto walked on the road and looked at the surrounding environment. The freezing cold had made everyone wrap themselves in a thick coat. Zabuza and his men were fine. This little bit of cold was nothing to them, but they also put on cloaks and added some warm clothes. After going deep into the territory of the snow country, the director had already gone to scout the scene with Feng Hua Xiaoshui and others. Naruto also saw the colorful rainbow ice wall. The wonder is really beautiful. It should be caused by the ice wall refracting the light, which makes people feel the wonders of nature. Suddenly, Naruto raised his mouth. He thought that the original story would not happen, but it still happened. Boom, the snow mountain suddenly shook. It caused panic among the people. Is the avalanche coming? Zabuza looked up and saw three people rushing towards them in the snow. They had obvious mechanical creations on their bodies. The fat man in the middle rushed down on a sled with a mechanical arm-like device on his arm. The two people beside him were roughly the same, wearing steel creations, and the female ninja also had a mechanical creation similar to wings on her body. Ice escape. Swallow blowing snow. Ice escape. White whale. Ice release. Ice prison. The three of them launched an attack as soon as they arrived. Zabuza was a little surprised by the appearance of ice release. He didn't expect that besides Bai, there was someone else who could use ice release ninjutsu. Zabuza took out his beheading sword and easily blocked several ice cones. This is just a pseudo ice escape created by the special environment of the snow country. You guys deal with them, I'll go protect Feng Hua Xiaoshui and the others. Naruto began to run towards Feng Hua Xiaoshui. At this moment, everyone was already panicking, especially Feng Hua Xiaoshui, who had a look of collapse on her face. Obviously, this place and Feng Hua Nutao had cast a great shadow on her. And the director's men were also scrambling to escape. This is the movie I want. Stop, shoot for me, I will give you ten times the salary. I will give you dividends after the movie is finished. The director's roar came, and the scene of the ninja war made him very excited. He knew that his life's achievement was here. When his men heard the director's remuneration, they also stopped hesitantly. With a gritted teeth, the world aimed the camera. As the saying goes, money makes the devil work. Now Naruto has seen it, and he doesn't even want his life for money. In fact, several ordinary people are also very smart. Seeing that Naruto is protecting them, they gambled and became rich. Losing the bet is better than being poor and destitute. I am not afraid of death, but I am afraid of poverty. The big brother who carried the camera immediately showed an expression of seeing death as home, and roared, let's die. No one can stop me from making money. The huge ninjutsu caused a huge movement. Bai's ice escape shocked several snow ninjas as soon as it was used. Bai didn't expect that he could use ice escape so smoothly in this environment, and the consumption of chakra was reduced by half. The power increased by about 80%. Ice shield. Thousand killings water flying. The woman flew in the air with the help of steel wings, while the fat man rushed up and smashed Bai's ice escape attack with one punch. After several explorations, Zabuza also found out the strength of several people. They were at the level of Chunin, but in front of that strange device, they actually reached the strength of a special Jonin. Is this the chakra armor that Naruto mentioned? Zabuza no longer held back, and Bai completely let go of the offensive. 
After Naruto's brainwashing, Bai no longer showed mercy like in the original work, but she still wouldn't put people to death. She also knew that necessary battles were inevitable. She is still soft-tempered. This character is indeed not suitable for killing. Next time, Bai can go to Tsunade to learn some medical ninjutsu. It might be a good idea to become a doctor who saves the dying and the wounded. Mist Hidden Technique A thick fog began to spread around, and Zabaza's devil-like voice suddenly rang in the ears of the snow ninja. Heart, liver, spleen, lungs, kidneys. Where do you think I should start first? The powerful murderous aura came, and several snow ninjas had already lost their momentum and began to tremble. Ice release. Black Dragon Blizzard. A voice came, and the powerful blizzard ninjutsu blew away Zabaza's mist hidden jutsu. Lenya Avalanche, you let me down. A figure appeared and looked at Lenya Avalanche coldly. Sorry, the strength of this ninja in front of me is really strong. Lenya Avalanche has nothing to say now, after all, he did fail. Facing Zabaza's quasi cage level strength, he has no way to deal with it. He found that he had completely underestimated this guy, and the information transmitted by the ninja world was also wrong. HMPH, now is not the time to talk about this, let's go back first. Feng Hua Nu Dao snorted coldly, and directly released a super powerful blizzard to block everyone's sight. Under the blessing of the wind and snow, the powerful ninjutsu formed tiny ice blades. Feng Hua Nu Dao and others used the instant body technique to escape. Earth Escape Earth Flow Wall A huge earth wall appeared, instantly blocking the blizzard, including the densely packed tiny ice blades. Feng Hua Nu Dao's powerful ninjutsu directly made Feng Hua Shaoshui, who was originally afraid of him, cry. He is so powerful, and he has so many subordinates. We can't beat him. Wu, we will all die. Wu. Feng Hua Shaoshui collapsed to the ground, tears streaming down her face. Naruto frowned. Does Feng Hua Shaoshui have a deep fear of Feng Hua Nutao? He slowly said, You must believe in hope. If everyone is like you, who will save the people of your country? Look at the director. He dared to face the battle between ninjas for his dream, just to be able to film, best movie, even though he knows, he might die. Sometimes persistence is very important. With the courage to persevere and the fighting spirit, and hope, the breath of spring will bloom even in the cold winter. Santa and the people of Snow Country need you, you must cheer up. If you give up on yourself now, you will have no way forward. Only by believing in hope can you see the real dawn. Naruto's sonorous voice resounded in Feng Hua Shaoshui's mind. At the same time, Naruto used the technique of illusion suggestion to help Feng Hua Shaoshui eliminate her fear of Feng Hua Nutao. I suggest you read more books, then you will know what courage is. This is it. Naruto took out a book from his storage ring and threw it in front of Feng Hua Shaoshui. That's all I have to say. If you still look like that, I will have no choice but to give up on you. Naruto answered seriously. He was not joking. If Feng Hua Shaoshui was really like this, then Naruto would never let Feng Hua Shaoshui become the ruler in public. Feng Hua. Shaoshui was stunned by what Naruto said. He looked at the director, then at the Sante, and remembered their fearlessness of life and death. They all had things that spurred themselves on, so what about himself? Feng Hua Shaoshui stood there in a daze. After thinking for a long time, she stood up and shouted at Naruto, I don't want to be a daimyo, but I want to be the best actor, because only when I am an actor can I forget my past identity and be a happy girl. I will definitely take back my country, help its people, and pursue my dream. Feng Hua Shaoshui's voice came from behind. Naruto paused, and a smile appeared on the corner of his mouth when no one could see it. Feng Hua Shaoshui picked up the book that Naruto gave her, on which were written the four characters, Red Thought. After Feng Hua Nutao returned, he put on his chakra armor directly. But his research members hurriedly said, My lord, this chakra armor is not very stable yet, I'm afraid it needs to be debugged. Feng Hua Nutao's face was full of confidence, and he said, no problem, as long as I quickly resolve the battle, it's still okay to use it this time. As long as I get the treasure left by my brother, I can research more powerful chakra armor, and then I will become an existence that can rival the five great powers. Feng Hua Nutao did not hide his ambitions, and once wanted to become an existence that could rival the five great powers. He has absolute confidence in his chakra armor. 
If Naruto were here, he would definitely slap him in the face. Just because of you, you want to become an existence that can rival the five great powers. Not to mention that your country is small in area and lacks resources, the most important thing is that the population and resources are insufficient. If you still want to compete with the five great powers, a chakra armor alone is not enough. After Feng Hua Nudao put on the chakra armor, he began to summon his subordinates. The Snow Ninja village is relatively small, and there are only more than 200 ninjas in total. At this moment, all of them were summoned together. Obviously, Zabuza brought him great pressure. Naruto barely made any moves except to protect Fuka Koyuki and Santefu, so he was not taken seriously by Fuka Nutao. As for Haku, he was just an ordinary Jonin, how could he fight against his own ninja army? As long as Zabuza was dealt with, the others were not worth mentioning. The next morning, Sandefu gathered his subordinates who were once loyal to Feng Hua Zhaoshui overnight. Compared to the original book where more than 50 people were gathered, only about half of them came now. It might be because the preparations were too hasty. San Teifu, we've already said that you don't need to gather people. Naruto looked at everyone speechlessly. There were only a few ninjas, not even a chunin. Now he had to protect them, but fortunately, compared to the original story where a lot of people died, it was not a problem for Naruto to protect them with his current strength. After all, the gap in strength was too big. It was time to end it. Several people rushed to the Grand Canyon ahead, and Feng Hua Nudao had been waiting here for a long time. Compared to the original story where there were only a few big cats and small cats, there were quite a lot at this moment. Hey, don't break them, they are all resources. Naruto was talking about these ninjas, each of them was a precious resource. Even in moving bricks, one ninja could be worth dozens of ordinary people. So these people should get out and go to infrastructure. Bye, I know you don't like to fight, so I'll ask you to take care of them. Leave this to me and Zabuza. Naruto smiled at Bai, and that handsome face made Bai feel his heart beat fast, and his face turned a little red. Well, okay, Bai replied shyly, and Naruto just thought she was embarrassed because she didn't want to fight. Zabuza, go ahead. As the two attacked, the snow ninjas also rushed up densely. Ninjutsu came overwhelmingly. Naruto looked at it and laughed secretly. From here, we can see the gap between the big countries. The ninjutsu released by these people are chaotic, and there is no sense of order in the big ninja village. Otherwise, the power may increase a lot. Naruto shuttled through the crowd, using only physical skills to blast away the surrounding ninjas. The powerful physical skills explained what is called violent aesthetics. These people couldn't even touch the corner of his clothes, and Zabuza rushed through the crowd with a beheading sword. He knocked people unconscious directly, he didn't kill him. Fenghen Nutao attacked Zabuza directly and ordered all the people to surround and kill Naruto. Naruto became more and more excited as the fight went on. Usually, there weren't so many sandstorms for him to practice with. Although he was a shadow clone, it would be difficult to break Naruto's defense unless he stood there and punched Fenghen Nutao dozens of times. If the real body was here, just opening the iron block to hit Fenghen Nutao wouldn't be able to break the defense. In one go, the snow ninja was thrown out by Naruto-like dumplings. It wasn't fatal, but it should still be painful. The entire battlefield was completely in a weird state. Naruto was like a humanoid beast. Why are they so powerful? Feng Hua Nudao was extremely shocked at this moment. The strength of these two people has exceeded his understanding of normal ninjas. Could it be that these two people have reached the strength of the shadows of the five great countries? Feng Hua Nudao has never seen the true strength of the shadows, and his understanding of the strength of the shadows remains in his own guess. In his opinion, the strength of the shadow is only at this level. I won't fail, Feng Hua Nudao roared and began to forcibly burn his own vitality in exchange for powerful strength. Ice release. Double dragon blizzard. At this moment, Feng Hua Nutao didn't care about the consumption of chakra at all, and attacked Zabuza like crazy. Two giant dragons formed by snow attacked Zabuza from the left and the right. With the blessing of the special weather in the snow country, this attack was even more terrifying. Facing such an attack, Zabuza snorted coldly, full of disdain. If it was half a year ago, Zabuza might still be afraid, but now, he is completely fearless. He originally only had water attribute chakra, 
after more than half a year of practice, he now has mastered the Earth Attribute Chakra. Earth Style Earth Dragon Bomb A huge Earth Dragon also rose from the ground and fought with Feng Hua Nutao's two snow dragons. Although it was one against two, Zabaza's Earth Dragon was not at a disadvantage at all. On the other side, Naruto was about to knock down the more than 200 snow ninjas. Among these snow ninjas, none of them were at the level of Jonin. It can only be said that it is almost impossible for Feng Hua Nutao to rely on these ninjas to become an existence comparable to the five major countries. Water Style Water Dragon Bullet Technique Earth Style Earth Dragon Bullet Technique Combined Ninjutsu Mudslide Bullet Technique After Zabuza received support from Naruto's ninjutsu, the Water Dragon Bullet was no longer more than 40 seals as before, but had been simplified to 12 seals. Although it was still far from the four seals of the second Hokage, it was already a regular ninjutsu seal. Thinking about the original 40 seals, Zabuza wanted to die. Ice release. Black Dragon Storm Kill. Feng Hua Nu Dao hurriedly formed a seal to resist, but in front of Zabuza who was already at the quasi-cage level, his resistance seemed a little weak. No, I will not fail. Zabuza's powerful ninjutsu directly broke through his ninjutsu. The earth dragon formed by the mudslide bomb hit Feng Hua Nu Tao's chest. The chakra armor resisted with difficulty. The armor slowly showed a few cracks, and then the cracks appeared faster and faster, and finally turned into a pile of scrap metal. Feng Hua Nu Tao spit out a mouthful of blood, and then was smashed away heavily. He had held back, otherwise Feng Hua Nu Tao might be torn into pieces. On Naruto's side, he had easily solved all the snow ninjas. Most of them fainted, and only a few were still wailing, but even if someone still had the ability to fight, they dared not stand up. Their Lord Feng Hua Nu Tao was defeated, and they would be idiots if they resisted again. After all, Feng Hua Nu Tao was usually unpopular, and Feng Hua Shaoshui was the daughter of the former daimyo. Son, they wouldn't think there's anything wrong with her being a daimyo. After all, life is precious, and San Fu and the others had already held the belief of fighting to the death, but they didn't expect that Feng Hua Nu Tao would be solved so easily. It. S. Really dramatic. And Feng Hua Shaoshui also knew for the first time that ninjas could be so powerful. Especially the boy in front of him, who didn't seem to be a few years younger than himself, how could he be so powerful? Feng Hua Shaoshui took out the red thought given by Naruto, and was a little dazed. She took some time to read it at night, and the content inside had a great impact on him. Is this the dream he has always been pursuing? She couldn't imagine that Naruto's pursuit would be so grand. If things continue to develop in this way, this boy will eventually embark on a path of hostility with the five major countries. Is he really not afraid? Xiao Shui, I've saved Feng Hua Nu Tao's life, and I'll leave it to you to deal with from now on. Naruto said slowly. Feng Hua Xiao Shui's heart warmed up, and a light of hatred appeared in her eyes. She looked coldly at Feng Hua Nu Tao whose chakra and limbs were sealed below. It was he who killed her parents, took the snow country for himself, and even wandered in the ninja world. Feng Hua Nu Tao, don't you want hexagonal ice crystals? I will show you today, and then let you die in despair. Feng Hua Xiao Shui raised her cold eyebrows, her face was cold, and when she was angry, there was even a hint of majesty and nobility between her eyebrows. The people brought by the third lady acted as guards, pressing Feng Hua Nu Tao to follow Feng Hua Xiao Shui to an ice wall with a keyhole on it. Feng Hua Xiao Shui inserted the key worn on her neck into the ice wall. Click, click, click. The sound rang out, and everyone widened their eyes, and Feng Hua Nu Tao had already revealed an excited look. Has the pursuit of many years finally appeared in front of him? Even if he died, he had to take a look. But the huge machine exposed behind the ice wall made him a little bit unable to do it. The ice and snow melted, and all things revived. The machine started, and a stream of heat rushed over. It was not hot, on the contrary, there was a breath full of vitality. Is this what I have been pursuing? Where is the treasure? Where is the gold and silver? Looking at the gradually dumbfounded and desperate Feng Hua Shaoshui, he said, my father has always hoped that the citizens of the snow country can also have a good living environment, so he used the funds to build this huge machine. Feng Hua Shaoshui turned around, looked at the scene of everything reviving around him and continued, I used to not know what my father was doing, but I knew that my father had no treasure. 
And this machine is the biggest treasure of the snow country. But you killed him before he announced the news. You, the executioner, don't have the treasure you need here. Die with disappointment. Feng Hua Xiaoshui glared with her beautiful eyes, drew out the swords of the surrounding guards, and stabbed them directly into Feng Hua Nu Tao's chest. Feng Hua Nu Tao, who had been sealed for a long time, did not resist at all, but looked at Feng Hua Xiaoshui with unwilling eyes. Naruto and Zabuza were a little surprised. They didn't expect that she had such courage. It's a pity that Bai didn't have such courage. Zabuza sighed in his heart. Feng Hua Xiaoshui suddenly relaxed her hand holding the sword, collapsed to the ground with her face covered, and tears as big as beans flowed down her cheeks. Naruto walked up and patted her shoulder gently, but Feng Hua Xiaoshui suddenly hugged Naruto. Slightly stunned, Naruto slowly put his arm around Feng Hua Xiaoshui's waist, burying her in his arms. In the main hall of the snow country, Fuka Koyuki will inherit the position of daimyo from now on. A country cannot be without a ruler for a day. The whole country celebrates. The news that Fuka Koyuki will become the new daimyo spreads throughout the snow country within a few days. The whole country celebrates. In the back hall, Naruto has already confronted Fuka Koyuki. To his surprise, Fuka Koyuki does not make any exceptions. I had guessed it a long time ago. After I read that book, I understood that you have great ambitions, but if you are not careful, you will be doomed. Since you are so powerful, how could you covet a mere commission? Your goal must be the snow country. At this moment, Feng Hua Xiaoshui was dressed in a noble outfit, which also had a bit of the majesty of a famous name. So what do you want to choose? Naruto said calmly, his eyes did not change at all. The snow country is imperative, there is no room for negotiation, even if it means using force. Me, I choose to join you, Naruto-kun, if possible, I can be yours too. Feng Hua Xiaoshui suddenly hugged Naruto and whispered in his ear. Naruto was stunned, the girl's fragrance surrounded his nose. You know, I don't want to be a daimyo, I just want to be an actor. I like you, I will support you. Feng Hua Xiaoshui said again. Feng Hua Xiaoshui's bold confession made Naruto's body a little stiff. Even though he was a shadow clone now, he couldn't help but feel a warm current. The snow country was so easy to get, and the foundation of the revolution was actually in hand. And to Naruto's surprise, Feng Hua Xiaoshui actually fell in love with him. In Konoha village, in a small barrier, Naruto sat cross-legged, his brows sometimes relaxed, sometimes cheerful. There was a sense of vagueness around him, but he was like a furnace in the sky, particularly dazzling. Chi and blood plus five, chi and blood plus one oh. Natural energy plus five, transforming. Senjutsu chakra plus six. Naruto felt as if his head was about to explode. Countless inspirations emerged from his mind. What is taijutsu, an extension of martial arts? Naruto still began to practice daily, and his subordinates approached to prevent the sound of his practice from leaking out, because he had gradually figured out the natural energy recently, and his perception was getting clearer and clearer. Research on the post-golden body realm of the indestructible golden body has also been put on the agenda. After a period of exploration, Naruto felt like he had reached a critical point. God rewards hard work like crazy, or he fell into the truth of heaven and earth. All kinds of insights emerged overwhelmingly. What is Taijutsu, what is Wu? The indestructible golden body incorporates a lot of Naruto's understanding of martial arts in his previous life. The reason why it is Wu, not Taijutsu. Because Taijutsu is like a move, and martial arts is more like the culmination of Taijutsu. The reason why physical skills are looked down upon is that they are difficult to practice. They rely entirely on polishing the body to improve the strength of the body, and continuous training, using extremely rough means to stimulate the potential of the body. The reason why the Eight Gates of Dunjia shines is because it develops the treasures of the human body and stimulates the potential of the human body. This is similar to the door of human potential in martial arts in Naruto's previous life novel. The Eight Gates of Dunjia open eight gates, corresponding to the Jyoti and Bagua. Every time a gate is opened, the potential of the human body can be released, but this process is rough, so you must have enough endurance to endure it, and because the method of forging the body is rough, the side effects are quite painful to endure. Rough Martial Arts Concept Plus 5-0, Rough Martial Arts Concept Plus 8-0.
The path of martial arts in Naruto's mind is becoming clearer and clearer. To get started with martial arts, you should first train your skin, then your flesh, then your bones, then your tendons, and finally your internal organs. Finally, draw in natural energy to achieve the strongest body. Naruto's rough indestructible golden body is being constantly overturned and reorganized by Naruto. Inspired by Tai Chi, Naruto has a better understanding of the difference between physical ninjas and ninjutsu ninjas. One side is yin, and the other side is yang. Perhaps physical ninjas should be separated from ninjutsu ninjas. Naruto has more and more insights in his mind. The path of physical skills is being constantly repaired by Naruto. Naruto actually created a system for physical skills practitioners. When Chakra was not born in this world, samurai were once popular, and samurai relied on continuous hard training to enhance their strength. Until the emergence of Chakra, it gradually replaced traditional ninjas. The reason why Chakra replaced the original samurai and became a new practice profession. It is because Chakra is easy to produce, and children of 6 or 7 years old can defeat samurai who have practiced for many years with Chakra. Coupled with the power of ninjutsu, the samurai is even more lonely. The road that Naruto has created now does not need to rely on the power of Chakra at all. It takes the root of Chi and blood, and finally combines natural energy. In other words, Naruto has raised the upper limit of physical training. Practice skin, practice flesh, practice bones, practice tendons, and practice organs. Gradually temper the body to a terrible degree. This is a road that leads directly to the level of shadow. This will be the gospel of those with weak ninjutsu talents. This is Naruto's martial arts concept in his previous life, relying on the way of heaven to reward hard work. If it weren't for this epiphany, Naruto might not be able to do it. Of course, Naruto needs to have enough accumulation. Naruto calls it the road of martial arts, not physical skills. If practicing martial arts is a warrior, then the ninja is a magician. The warrior is weak in the early stage, and gradually catches up in the later stage. Even the ninja will be killed by the warrior before he has time to make a seal. Therefore, if the ninja wants to defeat the warrior in the later stage, he needs to simplify his seal. Another kind of power gradually emerged in Naruto's body, and this power is the power of chi and blood. At the same time, as the perception of natural energy deepens, the natural energy absorbed by Naruto gradually transforms into fairy chakra. And special lines appeared in the corners of Naruto's eyes. Naruto unexpectedly entered sage mode. Natural energy affinity plus three, natural energy affinity plus four. As the martial arts continued to improve, Naruto slowly opened his eyes, his eyes like lightning. Naruto's physical strength, which had originally reached the pseudo-golden body realm, has now dropped to the bone training stage, directly skipping the skin training and flesh training, and is in the bone training stage. The strength of this stage is at the chunin stage, seemingly much weaker than before, but in fact Naruto's physical body has been refined. Even if he is sleeping, it won't be a big deal if he is hit by a chunin level attack. It's not that it's completely fine, but it's not fatal. If it happens too many times, he will still die. Skin training has a certain degree of defense, but it is still not a match for genin. Only when it reaches the level of flesh training, the body strength increases greatly and can match genin. When it comes to bone training, endurance and strength increase again, reaching the level of chunin. Endurance is also greatly enhanced. In the muscle training stage, it is already possible to increase strength by multiples through force, which has reached the level of jonin. Finally, temper the internal organs. The body is round and round. Between hands, the strength is like a mountain. The speed easily breaks the speed of sound. At this point, you need to introduce natural energy and take the same path as the ninja, but at this stage, the warrior strengthens the body and destroys the mountains and seas with his own strength. The ninja strengthens the body and strengthens the ninjutsu. It is more balanced. At this stage, it is already in the super shadow stage. As for the six paths realm later, Naruto does not know. After all, he does not know much. Maybe when he understands the wind, thunder, water, fire, earth, yin and yang, he will know the path of the six paths realm. Uchiha Madara in the original work is at this stage, but it is too difficult to give birth to the power of the six paths, and his lifespan does not allow it, so he directly takes the path of the tailed beast. 
The nine tailed beasts merged into the ten tails, and the ten tails were transformed from the sacred tree, which is considered the original power of the sacred tree. Obtaining the power of the ten tails is equivalent to controlling the power of the six paths. There is another way, which is to have the help of a six path level existence, but it is not so easy. Naruto and Sasuke in the original work were helped by the six path sage, and their strength reached a very strong level so they stepped into the six paths at the age of 16 and condensed the Tao seeking jade. At the same time, they are equivalent to the descendants of the six path sage, and it is easier for them to accept power. And if a warrior wants to reach the six paths level in the end, Naruto thinks it should be on the natural energy, just like the three holy lands. It is not simple for the three holy lands to exist for so long. In this world, if you rely on the ninja system and are not related to the Otsutsuki clan, there is basically no possibility of contacting the Six Paths realm. For ordinary ninjas, the cage level is the limit. With the help of natural energy, it is possible to reach the super cage. And the chakra system will even affect lifespan. And in the future facing the Otsutsuki clan, ordinary chakra against the Otsutsuki is simply courting death, which is why Naruto has always insisted on practicing physical skills. Chapter 91. Ha! Huh, I didn't expect to gain so much. Naruto opened his eyes with surprise. This time, he not only reorganized his physical skills, no. The practice of martial arts, the defects of his body were further repaired. He could also freely perceive natural energy. It is very dangerous to rashly absorb natural energy into the human body. So Naruto has been very careful all along. Otherwise, it is very likely to cause chaos in natural energy, and the consequence may be to turn into a human-shaped stone. He almost turned into stone several times, and the fairy chakra synthesized in his body rioted. If it weren't for Naruto's strong mental power and forcibly suppressing the rioting chakra, the consequences would be very serious. It stands to reason that natural energy is a kind of spiritual energy of heaven and earth, and it should not lead to the problem of turning into stone. Naruto can only attribute it to the unique laws of this world. Different worlds have different laws and powers. This may also be the reason why he turned into stone. Although the process is painful, the result is gratifying. After a long period of research, he has now realized the method of martial arts practice and has also thoroughly studied the intake of natural energy and how to synthesize fairy chakra. What surprised Naruto the most was that he gained natural energy affinity. It is easier to absorb and restore fairy chakra. Naruto, what on earth happened to you? At this time, a slightly shocked voice appeared. Kurabuda, I have learned the sage mode. Naruto smiled and came to the sealed space. At this moment, except for the nine tails still in the cage, the surrounding environment was the same as outside. The nine tails looked at Naruto with its huge head, as if it wanted to hear Naruto's explanation. Although the Nine Tails always knew what Naruto was doing, Naruto's changes today were really amazing. You know I'm not talking about that. The Nine Tails stared at Naruto with its huge eyes. Naruto spread his hands. Okay, since you want to know, I'll show you. Naruto stretched out his hand and clenched his fist. The Nine Tails knew what Naruto was doing. This was to be complete, so both parties could share their memories. Of course, unless you are willing. Others can't see the memories if they don't want to. You can only see the part that others want to show you. Now it's just Naruto sharing his memories with the Nine Tails. The Nine Tails' huge fist collided with Naruto's fist. And Naruto also passed on all his ideas, martial arts system, and the concept of sage mode. When the Nine Tails opened his eyes, a look of shock appeared on the huge fox face. Naruto, should I say you are a madman, a genius, or a demon? Kayubi's tone revealed a bit of excitement and shock. The martial arts system, this will be a huge impact on the ninja system. Although I don't want to admit it, your current feat is comparable to the old man of the six paths. Perhaps, you are really the person the old man said. Kayubi said with emotion, and his recognition of Naruto in his heart deepened again. He even felt that Naruto was more perverted than the old man of the six paths. You know, how old is Naruto now? He created a martial arts system comparable to that of a ninja. The threshold of the martial arts system is very low, and almost everyone can practice it, but it still depends on the talent, and the demand for resources is also huge. 
his peak is there. Although at first glance it is not as good as the ninja system, this is only Naruto's first creation, and the potential has yet to be developed. At the same time, Naruto also shaped the indestructible golden body into a more sophisticated martial arts practice method, which is much stronger than simply practicing martial arts, and incorporates the six styles. There are also some physical skills, moves, and so on. How can it be so exaggerated, Kurama, there is still a long way to go. Although the martial arts system has great potential, it currently lacks the corresponding martial arts. Compared with the brilliant ninjutsu, martial arts is still in the growth stage. Naruto was not complacent at all, which surprised the Nine Tails. The early stages of martial arts are not as good as those of ninjas, and the growth of ninjas in the early stages is extremely fast. Those with outstanding talents are basically elite jonins in their teens, and there are even those who have reached the level of cage at this age. Shisui, Itachi, and the young Namikaze Minato all reached the level of cage before the age of 20. Because of the chakra refinement of ninjas, most people's lifespan is not as long as that of ordinary people. This is because chakra is composed of the life energy and spiritual energy of body cells. And ninjas went to the battlefield at a very young age, and naturally their chakra would run out on the battlefield, which led to excessive chakra exploitation and then the loss of some vitality. After all, if you don't have your life anymore, does a little vitality matter? This also led to the fact that the peak period of ninjas was not long. The peak period of a ninja is roughly between 35 and 45, after which the condition will decline. To be more precise, the peak period of a ninja's life is roughly 40 years old. In the world of pirates, a person's peak period is 60 years old. The gap can be imagined. The period from 6 to 12 years old for a ninja is a period of laying the foundation, and then from 12 to 18 years old is a period of rapid growth. From 18 to 30 years old. The strength of this stage is in a stable period. Basically, the growth that should be achieved has already taken place, and the improvement of strength has fallen into a slow period, but there can still be progress. If you want to grow quickly, you can only use special methods. Kakashi has been decadent for many years, and he has wasted the golden period from 12 to 18 years old. This is also the reason why Kakashi has not entered the shadow level for many years, and it is not surprising. It's all because of the Sharingan. The reason why Zabaza's strength grew to that of a quasi-cage is because Naruto's improved version of the chakra refining technique increased his chakra several times, and his physical skills were slightly improved. If he wants to improve again, he can only increase his chakra again, or increase his physical strength, or practice powerful ninjutsu, such as S-level ninjutsu. However, most S-level ninjutsu are secrets that are not passed on, and it is still a bit difficult to become a cage. The stage between the ages of 30 and 40 is a stable period. Most people in the ninja world have a short lifespan, and few people can live to the age of the third generation. In the ninja world, there is no room for growth at this stage. Most ninjas have consumed part of their vitality because of fighting. In other worlds, this age stage is equivalent to 50 or 60 years old. And the fourth from the age of 15 to 60, it is already in a period of regression. The aging of the body makes it difficult to maintain the peak, and the strength has begun to degenerate. After the age of 60, it is a period of decline. In the original work, the Konoha Collapse Plan, the third generation is in this situation, and his strength declines rapidly. This can be regarded as a drawback of the ninja system. When he was young, the third generation was proficient in the five-attribute ninjutsu and was called the ninjutsu doctor. With a few A-level combination ninjutsu, he had the level of pseudo S level ninjutsu, especially his great five dragon bullet technique, which is already an S level ninjutsu. At his peak, he was comparable to the peak of the cage level, and it was not a problem for him to defeat Orochimaru. But at that time he was already old, and he was powerless against Orochimaru. The third generation can be regarded as a super genius to achieve this level without any blood limit. Naruto's behavior this time has been completely recognized by the Nine Tails. As for Naruto, he not only classified physical skills into the martial arts system, but also had an idea, which was to end the ninja era. He called ninjas sorcerers, people who use skills are called sorcerers. In the future, ninjas are no longer a profession for assassination and accepting tasks. 
take out the ninjas and break them down and reorganize them, and you will get sorcerers. Sorcerers can study skills that are more useful to the people, and they can also be divided into combat sorcerers and life sorcerers or even multi-professional sorcerers. Only with more professionalism can more people's research enthusiasm burst out. And Naruto called the skills used by sorcerers as spells. The levels of sorcerers are divided into apprentice level sorcerers, primary sorcerers, intermediate sorcerers, senior sorcerers, top sorcerers, master level sorcerers, grandmaster level sorcerers, and six path level sorcerers. Apprentice level sorcerers correspond to the level of ninja schools, and the levels after that correspond to the ninja levels. The same is true for the martial arts system. Skin training corresponds to the apprentice level, flesh training corresponds to the elementary level, bone training corresponds to the intermediate and advanced level, tendon training is the top level, and organ training corresponds to the master level. After that, absorbing natural energy to condense the body is the grandmaster level, which is the super shadow level of ninja. The six path level is tentative because Naruto has no idea. Similarly, the martial arts apprentice level corresponds to the apprentice level warrior, and flesh training corresponds to the elementary warrior. At this stage, not only the body needs to be trained, but also the blood needs to be condensed. Genin generally uses chakra to strengthen the body and train the body, so it is necessary to condense blood to compete with Genin who has learned ninjutsu. Bone training corresponds to the intermediate and advanced levels. At this stage, the 206 bones of the whole body are tempered. Therefore, the leap in strength is very large. In the early stage, those with less bone tempering can only be comparable to Chunin. When the whole body bones are tempered, the strength is condensed into one, enough to burst out the power that makes Jonin fear. At this stage, the strength is already terrifying. When it comes to the tendon training stage, the human body can withstand greater power, and the power that bursts out is like Tsunade using strange power. And the sustained ability is much stronger, and the physical strength is far beyond that of ordinary ninjas. Even ninjutsu can be blasted with one punch, and the strength is comparable to that of elite Jonin. At the level of training the internal organs, the five internal organs are tempered, and the body is no longer vulnerable. The body resists ninjutsu, and with one punch and one kick, it is like the thunder shadow bursting the lightning chakra mode, comparable to the shadow level strongman. If a warrior before the training period is placed in a sea of fire, there will be no problem in the short term, but the internal organs may be burned by the high temperature entering the internal organs through the nostrils. After the energy is introduced to this stage, it is the grandmaster stage, and energy attacks can be burst out with the help of natural energy. The physical body is even more incomparable. It's like a work of art. Ice skin and jade bones, blood like lead and mercury. The power can already break mountains and seas, and can fly with the help of natural energy. According to Naruto's discovery, people who practice martial arts have a longer lifespan than those who practice chakra. Chakra is synthesized through cell life energy, which will lead to loss of vitality. Practicing martial arts is to strengthen cell life energy, condense chi and blood, and achieve a leap in the level of life. The chakra system may only achieve immortality when it reaches the six paths. And according to the performance of different six paths level characters in the original work, the six paths level should also be divided into levels. Kegaya Otsutsuki is obviously more powerful. After swallowing the fruit of the sacred tree that almost absorbed all the natural energy of the ninja world, Kegaya's strength can be imagined, but her combat awareness is too poor. And it is almost immortal. The Otsutsuki clan should be constantly looking for life planets in the universe, planting chakra fruits to gain power, and the Otsutsuki clan must be an immortal race. Logically speaking, the Six Paths Sage is also a Six Paths level existence, and should not die so soon. Although he did not eat the fruit of the sacred tree, as the Ten Tails Jinchuriki, the lifespan of the Six Paths should obviously not be so short. Naruto guessed that after the Six Paths Sage defeated Kegaya, in order to decompose the Ten Tails, he also returned part of the chakra to the ninja world. The natural energy is equivalent to the life energy of a planet. After being absorbed, there will naturally be constant natural disasters, and even destruction. This reminds Naruto of the spirit tree fruit in his previous life, which seems to have the same effect. The principle should be the same, but without that violence, and there is still a little room.
This may also be the reason why the Six Path Sage died, most likely to save the ninja world. And the reason why his soul still exists in the Pure Land may be to prevent the arrival of the Otsutsuki clan. The reincarnations of Indra and Ashura are also very similar to the arrangements of the Six Path Sage. It is to make plans for the future arrival of the Otsutsuki clan. Toadmaru, who used to be with the Six Path Sage, is still alive. There is no reason why the Six Path Sage can't even survive a toad, and even the tailed beasts can live for many years. As the Ten Tails Jinchuriki, the Six Path Sage may have done something to cause a great reduction in vitality. It is not surprising that the Six Path Sage resurrects Naruto in the future. It is not surprising that such a person has several backups. Even Uchiha Madara prepared several backups to prepare for his own resurrection. If the Six Path Sage is not as good as Uchiha Madara, that would be a strange thing. If it were the original Naruto, he would definitely not have thought so far ahead. After all these years of training, if Naruto had an attribute panel, he would probably be able to see that his brain development is much stronger now than at the beginning. And the conversion is the strength of mental power. It can be said that what Naruto is doing now is not only to change the ninja world, but also for his own life, and to deal with future enemies at the same time. Naruto never underestimates these people, especially those old antiques. One is more insidious than the other. The sixth old man in the ninja world. Guquan's life in the troubled times, the goal is to be invincible in the ninja world. This is what Naruto wants to do. Naruto is not going to follow the original path now. In the original work, Naruto learned the six paths immortal art and automatically obtained nine seeking truth jades. Judging from the performance in the original work, Naruto did not condense the Seeking Truth Jade by himself. These Seeking Truth Jades condensed by Naruto are likely to be condensed by obtaining the power of the Six Paths of Yang. Use one less. This is also the reason why Naruto never appeared in the Seeking Truth Jade in Boruto. There are four ways to obtain the Seeking Truth Jade in the original work. One is to use Yin-Yang escape technique as a form, and add High Purity Chakra of Yin-Yang and five elements to condense the Way Seeking Jade. This is also the method of the Six Paths Sage. Another is to rely on the Bloodline Net to condense the Way Seeking Jade like Kegaya. Kegaya's Way Seeking Jade is more powerful than the general Way Seeking Jade, and it expands the Way Seeking Jade. In addition to these two, there is the Green Way Seeking Jade condensed by Otsutsuki Tonari on the moon with the Samsara Eye. The last one is to become the Ten Tails Jinchuriki like Uchiha Madara and others, and obtain the Way Seeking Jade. Now, Naruto knows nothing about Yin Yang release, and Keke Net is too difficult. Kegaya's Keke Net may be due to the fruit of the sacred tree. The Samsara. I is not something that ordinary people can have. As for the Ten Tails, there are many people eyeing him, which is also a relatively simple way, but Naruto does not intend to use this method. After all, if he loses the Ten Tails, he is likely to fall out of the level of the Six Paths. With the ability of God's way of rewarding hard work, Naruto has a much easier time learning Yin Yang release and Keke Net than normal people. What's more, he can take the path of martial arts, which is also a feasible path. I just don't know if he needs to condense the way seeking Jade. At this moment, in the Land of Snow, Shisui has already moved the base to the Land of Snow, and at the same time recruited the group of scientists under Feng Hin Nutao. The technological level of the Land of Snow is still good, and it has developed the level of electricity. Under Naruto's instructions, the Land of Snow began a crazy technological revolution. It began to copy the technological development of the previous life. It has to be said that the technological development of this world is very confusing. Electricity has appeared, but cars have not appeared. There are no airplanes either. The technology of this world has gone astray, so Naruto naturally wants to turn it around. Good technology means a good life, and he also wants to pursue a high-end life instead of cooking by himself. If he didn't work hard, he might still be drinking expired milk in Konoha. That is to say, Naruto in the original work has a strong physique and a nine-tailed fox in his body. Otherwise, with Naruto's food, I don't know how many times he would have died. Shisui moved to the land of snow. Although it is small, it is relatively safe and hidden. On the other hand, Uchiha Yu went to the Land of Tea to establish a base. The Land of Tea, it is the world's largest grain exporter, and Naruto is not going to let it go. 
They also founded the Seven Colored Grain Company there, and occupied a part of the market through the high yield grains and special means of inducing birth that they researched. This certainly touched the interests of some nobles, but the Seven Colored Chamber of Commerce was backed by the hidden mist village in the land of water, and any dissatisfaction was suppressed. They had no choice but to let the Seven Colored Grain Company gain a foothold. While this country has no ninjas, the land area and various resources are still good, so Uchiha Yu came here to establish an organization. At the same time, the large population here is also a good place to absorb members. Konoha Village, Ninki and Shaoli should have graduated, right? Why don't we go see them? Sasuke crossed his arms and said coldly. Although he seemed calm, Naruto knew that Sasuke always yearned for the profession of ninja. After all, Sasuke once yearned to become a powerful ninja and revitalize the Uchiha family. That's fine, let's celebrate their short ninja career, let's go. Naruto dusted off his butt and prepared to go find Neji and Lee to celebrate. During this period, they also had a little vacation, and by next year, they should graduate, but they didn't know if their teacher would still be Kakashi. The two soon arrived at Lee's house and knocked on the door gently, but found that no one was at home. No one, he might be going to practice. He just graduated and didn't take two days off. Naruto waved his hand helplessly, and then the two came to a training ground, which was close to Shaoli's home, so it should be here. Although they practiced together most of the time, for convenience, they would sometimes practice alone. Shaoli would sometimes practice with Might Guy. As for Sasuke, he was always practicing with Naruto. 3369, 3370. As expected, they soon heard a voice coming from the training ground. Looking around, Shaoli was doing one-handed handstand push-ups. If nothing unexpected happened, Shaoli might still have weights on his body. Shaoli, Naruto's voice came, which made Shaoli look a little surprised. His body was already full of sweat. At this moment, he also stopped and looked at Naruto in surprise. Naruto, Sasuke, why are you here? Shaoli wiped his sweat and greeted the two happily. What, you can't come if you have nothing to do? Naruto said with a smile. No, no, you are welcome anytime. By the way, are you here to practice with me? Shaoli touched his head and smiled. Naruto glanced at him and said, You can practice anytime. You may have forgotten that you graduated yesterday. In order to celebrate your graduation, I decided to treat you to a big meal. Let's go, let's go find Neji. Shaoli also nodded happily. It was a happy thing to graduate from the ninja school. After all, they couldn't learn anything in school. The three of them came to Neji's house. It must be said that Hayuga's place is really big. Neji didn't practice anymore, but was looking at the martial arts system sorted out by Naruto. In order to prevent leakage, Naruto also specially engraved the sealing technique on this scroll, which only a few people can see. They have also begun to specialize in the martial arts system, especially Shaoli, because the martial arts system is difficult to practice at the same time as Chakra, because the martial arts system emphasizes the nourishment of cells, and Chakra obtains energy from cells. Therefore, if Chakra is refined after practicing martial arts, it will lead to slow progress in martial arts. Only after the cells are nourished again can the normal practice speed be restored. But this does not mean that martial arts and chakra systems cannot coexist. If you practice both, you can only practice chakra when practicing chakra, and martial arts will stagnate. After practicing martial arts, in order to nourish cells, the refining of chakra is temporarily suspended. Because this is equivalent to slowing down the speed of getting stronger by two times. However, after the physical body has made great progress, if you extract chakra again, as long as it is not over-refined, the chakra will be several times the original, because the cells have become stronger. Over-refining may cause the physical strength to deteriorate and the spirit to be depleted. Naruto does not have this problem. Naruto's chakra amount has long been enough, and if it is not enough, he can borrow it from the Nine Tails. Therefore, concentrate on practicing martial arts. Although the speed of practice has slowed down, the potential and strength in the future will become stronger. As for Sasuke, Naruto suggested that Sasuke should wait until he becomes a cage before practicing the martial arts system, otherwise it will only slow down Sasuke's speed of getting stronger. Ninki practiced the same as Naruto, 
After all, the Hyuga family relies on physical skills. Rock Lee has completely transformed. Now Rock Lee has even given up refining chakra and is wholeheartedly practicing martial arts. After changing his training, all of Rock Lee's previous accumulation has turned into a foundation. Although his strength has declined a little, his foundation has become much deeper. Ninki was a little surprised. Why are you all here? Let's go out and get together. It's worth a day. Naruto said. In the private room of the Seven Colors restaurant, a pot of hot pot was served in front of the group. Your instructor is Might Guy, right? Naruto said affirmatively. Ninki nodded. Yes, just a little, um, a little like Rock Lee. Ninki thought for a while and said, to be honest, when he first met Might Guy, he thought he was Rock Lee's father, because the two looked so much alike. Ha ha ha, Naruto and Sasuke looked at each other and laughed loudly, which made Shell Lee a little confused. Neji just laughed softly. In their minds, Shell Lee and Might Guy stood together. They had the same style, the same hairstyle, thick eyebrows, and practiced the same physical skills. People who didn't know would definitely think that they were father and son. After laughing, the conversation between the few people returned to the normal track again. How do you feel these days? Naruto asked Neji softly. It's okay. My teammate is a little girl, but she's a little weak. You mean Tenten? Ninki looked at Naruto strangely. Why, you know him too. I guess we know each other. She is the founder of Chian Dun. Naruto said with emotion. What the hell? Money escape. Neji and Sasuke were a little confused. What kind of escape technique is money escape? You will know when you see her take action. Naruto laughed and quickly started eating the seven colors hot pot. Finally, Naruto did not explain to them what the money escape technique was, always saying that they would know it later. Then they started drinking, and this drinking caused trouble. Who knew that Shaoli had such a bad drinking habit? He got drunk as soon as he drank, and even acted crazy. This reminded Naruto that he seemed to have seen Shaoli drunk when he watched Naruto in his previous life. The table was overturned by Xiao Li, and the three had no choice but to throw Xiao Li out of the window. In the end, they paid a sum of money and took Xiao Li away. A few months passed, and Tsunade felt like crying but had no tears. She had wanted to lurk and see who the leader behind the Umbrella Organization was. However, this Umbrella Organization was really inhumane. If she wanted to see the top leaders, she had to improve her rank. After the higher-ups assigned Tsunade a job at the medical school, they told her about the contributions she needed to make in order to improve her rank. Then Tsunade began her part-time job. The medical school was guided by Naruto and established by Shisui. The system was inspired by her previous life, which made Tsunade deeply addicted. This must be a system proposed by a medical expert. When Tsunade first saw the system of this medical school, she was amazed. She asked to meet the proposer of this system, but how could Shisui meet Tsunade at this stage? Only by making Tsunade completely his own, Shisui might be able to show up in front of Tsunade. So the answer Tsunade got was that her level was not enough and her request was rejected. This made Tsunade crazy and she had to quickly improve her umbrella level. In the ninja world, there is probably no one with better medical technology than Tsunade. Soon, Tsunade stood out with her ability and was promoted to the dean. The reason why it was so fast was that Tsunade contributed a lot of rare things. The reason why the medical school is called a medical school instead of a hospital is because the medical school combines hospitals and colleges into one. As the name suggests, it is a college that studies medical skills. There are ninjas with chakras and ordinary people in it. Compared with ninjas, there are more ordinary people, and some theories also make Tsunade feel refreshed. After researching new technologies and contributing them to the organization, you can get points from the organization, so Tsunade can sit in the medical school within a few months. Most of the time, because there is no fighting, because of this, almost most of the time is spent in the R&D stage and training talents. Tsunade hasn't stopped to study medical technology for a long time. In the dean's office, the large and small files on the table gave Tsunade a headache. Open a file at random, and it says about how the human body can exercise efficiently and effectively. Open another file, and it says cell strengthening topic. This is quite straightforward. Open it again, how to use medical means to strengthen the body. 
After reading a few files, Tsunade couldn't help but have a headache. In the past month, the topics on them have become more and more strange. Why, they are all topics related to strengthening the body. He thought that the organization might want to train physical ninjas, but this is not worth the effort. Training one physical ninja is enough to train three ninjas of the same level. Tsunade frowned and subconsciously reached to the side, but grabbed nothing. Slightly stunned, Tsunade remembered that she seemed to have not drunk or gambled for several months. She was a little irritable today, so she wanted to drink some wine. Thinking of the aroma of the wine, Tsunade couldn't help licking her lips, and the huge chariot in front of her shook. Tsunade shouted to the outside of the door, Shizun. Click, click, the sound of hurried shoes stepping on the floor sounded, and Shizun hurriedly pushed open the door, thinking that Tsunade had something to do. Lady Tsunade, what happened? Shizun was wearing a white coat at the moment. Although Shizun was not as good as Tsunade, she was also at the director level. Go, buy me some wine. Tsunade waved her hand and said. Shizun looked at Tsunade's embarrassment and secretly felt happy. Although she was a little tired during this period, she was still very happy to see Tsunade like this. Tsunade used to drink and gamble all day long. Shizun knew that Tsunade wanted to numb herself in this way. Lady Tsunade, the organization has clearly stipulated that drinking alcohol is not allowed during work, as it may cause surgical errors. Points will be deducted. Shizun explained, and then added in a low voice. Ha, this made Tsunade laugh. Shizun, are you on my side or the umbrella side? It feels like this little girl has completely fallen. Okay, I won't drink for now. Tsunade rolled her eyes at Shizun. Bang, bang, bang. There was a gentle knock on the door. The two looked towards the door and saw a beautiful girl in a nurse's uniform holding a document. Her black hair was wrapped in a nurse's cap. Her smile was very gentle, making people feel as warm as the sun. Seeing the person coming, Tsunade's face instantly broke into a smile, Shiro, you're here. Shizun curled her lips, Lady Tsunade must have a new apprentice and forgotten the old one. Master Dean, here is a document for you to take a look at. It's specially for you. Bai smiled gently, with a smile on the corner of her mouth. Since the last time, Bai was sent here to learn from Tsunade. Bai's talent in medical ninjutsu is even stronger than her talent in ninja. Perhaps what suits her best is not killing, but saving the world. And to Tsunade's surprise, Bai actually has the ice shield bloodline limit, and her own strength has reached the level of Jonin. This also made Tsunade a little surprised about Umbrella. The family with the ice shield bloodline limit is only in the Hidden Mist village, and it seems to be the Mizunatsu clan. Unexpectedly, they also took in a ninja with a bloodline limit and sent him to study medicine here. According to Bai's answer, it was because she didn't like killing, so the organization sent her here to learn medical ninjutsu. This made Tsunade have a little more favor for Umbrella. After all, a ninja with a bloodline limit will at least be a jonin when he grows up, and with Bai's talent, it is possible to grow to the level of cage. The Umbrella organization obeys Bai's wishes. You know, in the ninja village, a bloodline limit ninja is very precious, you have to contribute to the village. Most of the bloodline limit ninjas are helpless. Tsunade took the document handed over by Bai. She thought it was another topic, but the content made Tsunade's pupils suddenly dilate. It clearly recorded the martial arts training methods, the skin training chapter, the flesh training chapter and the bone training chapter. It only went up to here, and the rest was not released. However, the concepts of these records alone have greatly shocked Tsunade. Tsunade also knows some physical skills, and her strange power is physical skills. And the martial arts introduced above surprisingly took out physical skills to form a separate system. Condensing the power of chi and blood. Skin training lays the foundation, while flesh training begins to condense chi and blood, which is similar to chakra. Almost all of them are polishing the flesh, which is similar to physical ninjas, but Tsunade was shocked from the stage of condensing chi and blood and training bones. This is a road that is no less than that of ninjas. This also made Tsunade understand why the topic of the past month is related to the flesh. And in Tsunade's eyes, there should be more in the future. This is a road that can rival ninjas. Shizun, take a look too. Tsunade casually handed the precious information to Shizun.
Shizun saw Tsunade's expression and knew that this was a very valuable document. Slowly skimming through the contents above, Shizun's calm expression gradually became serious. Although she did not have Tsunade's knowledge and vision, she also knew that this was a groundbreaking document that could open up another system to compete with ninjas. Lady Tsunade, this is simply a madman's conjecture. Shizun said in shock. Tsunade shook her head and said, he is a madman, but it is not a conjecture, but a systematic path. Why can't he be a genius? Shizun shook her head slightly, that is also a crazy genius. Tsunade smiled and did not refute Shizun's words. In fact, she also thought that creating such a career is indeed something that only a crazy and genius person can do. Bye, you were sent by the top management of Umbrella, so you should know the subsequent training methods, right? Tsunade seemed to be asking, but in fact she had already confirmed it. Bai also heard it from Tsunade's tone. A smile appeared on Bai's lips. As expected of teacher Tsunade, there is indeed a follow-up part, but it requires umbrella level and points to redeem, and not only that, there are also techniques that can be redeemed with points. Jutsu. Seeing Tsunade's puzzled look, Bai explained, Jutsu is the name used within our organization, that is, ninjutsu. Bai actually likes the name of Sorcerer, because Sorcerer is not as dark as Ninja. I see. Why didn't I know this before? Tsunade asked curiously, feeling a little angry. Doesn't teacher Tsunade know the reason? Bai said jokingly, and Tsunade's rising anger disappeared completely, and an embarrassed look appeared on her face. That's right, in the past few months, Tsunade's identity has been exposed, and Tsunade is too lazy to hide it. Surprisingly, no one expelled her after her identity was exposed, and even let her become the dean. However, because of this, she did not meet the real top leaders of the organization. She also asked, but the answer she got was, the organization does not prohibit the recruitment of ninjas from other villages, and it is even welcomed. Aren't you afraid of spies? This is Tsunade's question. Our organization has special screening methods. This is the reply Tsunade heard. It makes people feel mysterious. In fact, it is exactly like this. Few people can withstand the torture of the Sharingan. Even if they have passed the ordinary three Magatama, they still have to go through the torture of the Mangekyo when facing suspicious people. Tell me first how to exchange for the subsequent training methods of this martial arts system. Tsunade quickly chose to answer the previous question. Seeing the two people's curious expressions, Bai did not keep them in suspense and took out something similar to the tablet in Naruto's previous life. Tsunade and the others quickly came over, what is this? This is a smart tablet developed by the organization. On it you can see the exchangeable techniques and martial arts training system. After turning it on, a light came on, showing an umbrella-shaped pattern. The ninja world already has computers and televisions, and has a certain degree of foundation. Therefore, under the leadership of Naruto, tablets were quickly developed. Naruto even wanted to research mobile phones, but they are still under development. The energy used is chakra. Naruto also built a chakra signal receiving device. The money spent on building the device alone is hundreds of millions of tails, which is almost equivalent to a dozen asumas. Because chakra metal is used to build a chakra signal receiving device. Only chakra metal can receive chakra very well. Tsunade and the others were very curious about this small device, which felt like a small TV. The functions on the screen seemed quite simple, and there was not even a call function, but messages could be sent and received. The receiving device has been converted, and the video function has not been developed, after all, time is limited. The video cannot be developed for the time being, but by heard that the call function will be available soon. In fact, it has been developed now, but the cost is still very high, and it is not very suitable for use. Now we are studying to simplify the cost. This is thanks to the chakra dialogue room ninjutsu invented by Naruto. With the foundation and the industrial level barely enough, the finished product naturally came out. Moreover, the people in the ninja world are relatively smart, but there may be a few more patients with mental illness. Bai personally demonstrated how to use the tablet, which is really very convenient. Tsunade also saw the follow-up of the martial arts system that she had been thinking about, which are also on it, but only the name, and there are many ninjutsu. Ninjutsu, or it can be called a technique, after all, when in Rome, do as the Romans do, and Tsunade is not lacking in it. 
Well, the types are quite complete, but Konoha already has many of them. Tsunade didn't expect that the Umbrella organization would have so many ninjutsu backgrounds, and she also saw many ninjutsu that Konoha also had. Tsunade may not know that most of the ninjutsu were moved by Naruto from the root base. If Tsunade knew, I don't know what to say. Although Tsunade was shocked by the hugeness of these ninjutsu, because some of these ninjutsu were actually obtained from the rebel ninjas of other ninja villages. If they hand over the ninjutsu they know, they can get points to exchange for another ninjutsu to enhance their strength. Why not do it? Tsunade stretched out her hand and clicked on the purchase of the martial arts muscle training method, but a prompt popped up, please bind your identity information. What is this? Tsunade asked curiously, feeling mixed emotions for a moment, as if she was out of date. You need to confirm your identity to buy this. You only need to confirm your chakra here, and you can bind your identity. Bai explained softly, confirming the chakra is just like confirming fingerprints in the previous life. It records her unique chakra, which can be retrieved. Naruto did this to prepare for future rule. Tsunade frowned, and then confirmed the chakra. Although exposing the chakra fluctuations will be detected, when does she need to hide her head and show her tail? She is not an Anbu. Even in a battle, it is easy to confirm her identity, and the identity is bound immediately. Binding. Name. Tsunade. Level. Yellow. Points. 70,962. Welcome. Several messages popped up above, and Tsunade couldn't wait to check the points for the martial arts system. Unexpectedly. The points for the martial arts system were pitifully low. The entry-level martial arts training skin was free, 100 points for meat training, 100 points for bone training, 5,000 for tendon training, and 10,000 for organ training. It's not that the points required are very high, but too low. Tsunade has read the introduction, and the level of organ training is comparable to that of cage. Shouldn't such a level be inherited with S-level ninjutsu? The points for the exchange of ninjutsu are relatively high, but not ridiculously high. At least it is much easier than for the ninjas in the village to obtain ninjutsu. Tsunade looked at it and found that in addition to some popular ninjutsu, there were also Konoha's ninjutsu, and some ninjutsu Tsunade had never seen before. After all, she was not Orochimaru, who knew so many ninjutsu, and some ninjutsu were developed by Naruto. The ninjutsu in it was all-encompassing and dazzling. There were even sealing techniques for sale, but there was a grade system. Only when the grade was reached could better ninjutsu be exchanged. Tsunade's grade was already very high, and basically all A-level ninjutsu could be exchanged. Tsunade looked at it for a while and felt a little boring, and then clicked the S-level letter on the side of the screen. There were only two S-level ninjutsu, one was a ninjutsu called Wind-style Resenshuriken. Although she had never seen it before, Tsunade felt that it seemed a little familiar. The other S-level ninjutsu was a ninjutsu called Indestructible Golden Body Chakra Version. What made Tsunade a little curious was why it was specially marked as Chakra Version. Could there be another version? In fact, after the development of martial arts, the Indestructible Golden Body had been split into two versions. One is the Immortal Body of Martial Arts, and the other is the original Immortal Body deduced by Naruto based on Chakra, which can give ninjas powerful strength and physical strength, similar to the thunder style of Kumobiker. It cannot condense the power of blood and chi. Strangely, there are some strange ninjutsu in it, such as the earth style of turning the earth, the earth style of planting rice, and the wind style of fan. It feels like a ninjutsu for children to play with, and it says that many people have redeemed it, and it is a popular ninjutsu. Can you show it to Shizun? Tsunade asked Bai. After all, it has been stated that those who are not at a high enough level cannot see some key information. Bai nodded. After all, they are from the same school. Although Shizun's level is one level lower than Tsunade's, it is only because Shizun's current points are not that many. With Shizun's medical ability, it is easy for her to be promoted. As for Tsunade, because she concealed her identity before, her level was delayed for a year before she could be promoted again. When it comes to the orange level, it is already the same level as Shisui and others. At this level, only Shisui, Uchiha Yu, Uchiha Izumi and Zabuza have reached it. Others have not reached this level yet, or their contributions are not enough. This level can basically only be reached by the cage, or have super high talents in other aspects. 
Zabuza also. It was only possible because of the elders, and the same was true for Uchiha Yu. Seeing Bai nodded, Shizun took it curiously. Tsunade didn't look at it in front of Shizun just now, but changed her angle. Shizun also saw the dazzling array of ninjutsu, and couldn't help but be amazed. As a civilian, she understood better than Tsunade how difficult it was for civilian ninjas to obtain ninjutsu. Even though she had been with Tsunade since she was very young. After graduating from the ninja school, students can only learn a little from the guiding ninja, and then they have to continue to accumulate merits to exchange for ninjutsu. The exchange ninjutsu is not the best kind, and most of them are collected. But on this small tablet, there are so many ninjutsu, even she can exchange for several A-level ninjutsu. With her authority, she can only exchange for A-level ones. Tsunade-sama. This ninjutsu is so powerful. Shizun suddenly said, and pointed to an A-level ninjutsu above. Wind control technique. Tsunade heard Shizun's exclamation and looked over quickly. Shizun had already clicked on the introduction of wind control technique. It can actually fly. Tsunade also exclaimed, she didn't look at the ninjutsu too seriously just now. After all, she couldn't click on every one of them. It actually costs 50,000 points. Tsunade took a look. Although this wind control technique is A-level, it is the most expensive among similar A-level ninjutsu. The importance of being able to fly in the ninja world can be imagined. The rarity is no less than that of space-based ninjutsu. The only person who can fly now is the third Suchikage Onoki. Interesting, Tsunade clicked on the exchange, and a prompt box popped up, asking whether to exchange or not, and at the same time, Tsunade also exchanged for the martial arts training system. Tsunade already had the first three stages of the martial arts training system, and only needed to exchange the remaining two, which added up to a total of 65,000 points. The points bottomed out instantly. However, Tsunade felt an inexplicable sense of pleasure, but it was a pity that the points were too few, and ninjutsu was not very attractive to her. But this tablet made Tsunade quite curious. By the way, now that the exchange items have been exchanged, what if some people don't want to exchange them and go to the exchanger to learn, wouldn't that be a loophole for others to take advantage of? Tsunade said strangely, the organization clearly stipulates that you can only practice what you exchange. If the organization finds out, there will naturally be a punishment system, and even the positions of your family members in the organization will be affected. Even if some people are alone, there are always things they care about. They will not lose the big picture for the small. Bai explained that the high-level members who join the organization actually have to screen their understanding of the red thought, which is equivalent to brainwashing. Bai did not say it. In fact, Bai is not very clear, after all, she has also been brainwashed by Naruto. Tsunade heard Bai's explanation and couldn't help but sigh for a while, the thinking is really perfect. Through all these, Tsunade has understood that the Umbrella Organization is very ambitious. Even the Seven Colors Chamber of Commerce that is popular in the ninja world is the industry of Umbrella, and Kurigakur is complacent because it has taken advantage of it. Umbrella recruits talents in the ninja world and spreads across various countries. One day, it will burst out with powerful power. Just like what is introduced in the Book of Red Thought, a spark can start a prairie fire. The fire of Umbrella will sooner or later burn the entire ninja world. In the ninja world, there is a man with a rather unfriendly face, holding a head in his hand. If Naruto were here, he would find that this man is Kakuzu. He is very upset at the moment, because he finds that it is getting harder and harder to make money in recent years. The number of rebel ninjas has decreased a lot for some reason. In fact, if it weren't for the fact that some rebel ninjas killed innocent people indiscriminately, Naruto would not look down on this kind of people at all, and Kakuzu might not even be able to kill the rebel ninjas. How come there are so few rebel ninjas in the past two years? Is there someone hunting rebel ninjas like me? How dare you snatch my money? Kakuzu cursed as he walked into a toilet. It looked like a toilet, but it was actually an underground money exchange. The money exchange was a mysterious force that had existed for a very long time. When he came underground, the noise in the underground money exchange, which was originally noisy, suddenly became a little quieter. 
Because Kikuzu was a frequent visitor to the money exchange, his strength was obvious to all, and his reputation of valuing money as his life had already spread. I want to exchange for the bounty. Kikuzu threw the head on the counter, and the counter man said with a smile, why has Lord Kikuzu come less frequently recently? Did he make a fortune? Hum, Kikuzu showed a strong murderous intent, but suddenly he restrained himself. Kanjinsho is very powerful, and has existed for at least a hundred years, and there are strong people behind it. He is also his financial sponsor, so Kikuzu couldn't be presumptuous. Suddenly, Kikuzu's eyes lit up, and he asked softly, I want to know the reason why the number of rebellious ninjas has decreased recently. Here, 10 million, the man at the counter rubbed his fingers. 10 million, why don't you go and grab it? Hearing such an outrageous number of 10 million, Kikuzu resisted the urge to take action and turned around to leave. But when he walked out, he came back with a dark face. Although his face was covered by a mask, it was obvious from his eyes that he was very unhappy. Don't let me know who it is. Kikuzu didn't want to spend this money in vain, but the number of remaining rebel ninjas has decreased dramatically, and he is still making money. He has to find the guy who is stealing his business, and he will definitely be able to find a lot of money. In Kikuzu's heart, he has already regarded the money of the guy who is stealing his business as his own. He doesn't know how Shisui would feel if he knew it. Kikuzu directly threw out a scroll and said in a cold voice, This is 10 million, tell me the news quickly. The person at the counter took it with a smile and said, Please wait, let us verify it. Soon, a man came from behind and took away Kikuzu's scroll. Kikuzu seemed a little impatient and shouted, Hurry up! Don't be impatient, Lord Kikuzu. This is a matter of money after all. We have to respect it, don't we? The person at the counter obviously knew Kikuzu's temper very well, and he calmed Kikuzu down with just a few words. Kikuzu thought about it and realized that it was indeed the case. Money needs to be respected. Well, let's wait a little longer. After a while, the person behind him came out with a smile. The amount is correct, Lord Kikuzu, this is the information you need. The man handed Kikuzu a scroll, and Kikuzu took it and walked out directly. He was not worried that the gold exchange would provide false information. In this regard, the gold exchange was still credible. And the reason why he accepted the 10 million was because the importance of the information from the gold exchange was linked to money. The more precious the information, the more money was needed. Information worth 10 million, it's not simple to think about it. Kikuzu has lived for hundreds of years, and his mind is still clear. Kikuzu came to a deserted place and did not look at the information first. Instead, he took out the bounty he had exchanged before. After each mission, Kikuzu would count the money himself, and he never got tired of it. In this world, is there anything more interesting than counting money? The important thing, if there is one, is that he counted the money until his hands cramped. After counting the money, Kikuzu carefully put the money back into the scroll, and then took out the information. At first, Kikuzu's expression did not change when he looked at the content above. As he read more and more, Kikuzu's expression began to become solemn. After reading it, Kikuzu was still in a daze. After a while, Kikuzu slowly came back to his senses. The scroll clearly stated that the reason why the number of rebellious ninjas began to decrease was because an organization called Umbrella recruited them. The Umbrella organization began to emerge more than a year ago. The specific time of its establishment and its members are unknown. Secretly recruiting a large number of people, even most of the ordinary people civilians. There is a tendency to spread the ninja world. The levels of umbrella members are divided into red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and purple. Most civilians are around purple and indigo levels, purple can be ignored, and those with a skill are mostly indigo. The members of the umbrella organization are all over the world, most of them are civilians. These corners don't care, and even have a little disdain. Just a group of ordinary people. Keep reading. The Seven Colors Chamber of Commerce is ostensibly an industry of the water country, but in fact it is most likely an industry of umbrella. The core members of umbrella are unknown, and the strong are unknown. The base exists in the Earth Wave country, the possibility of other bases is not ruled out. This information is quite detailed, but between the lines, it can still be seen that it is difficult for umbrella to infiltrate. 
The strength of the gold exchange is still very powerful, and it even knows the former headquarters of the Umbrella Organization. Kenkenso is not like other big countries. He is active in the ninja world and makes profits by charging handling fees and selling intelligence. Therefore, he is very sensitive to what happens in the ninja world. Some actions of Umbrella have not been noticed by other ninja villages, but Kenkenso's intelligence organization has been keeping an eye on its existence. Even traces of the Umbrella organization's activities in the Land of Waves were investigated. This may also be the reason why Shisui and Naruto changed their base. The Land of Waves is too small. To put it bluntly, it is just a larger island. The Land of Waves has changed because Umbrella has become increasingly wealthy. If someone is interested in investigating, they will definitely find clues. Kakuzu slowly closed the scroll. When did such an existence appear in the ninja world? Kakuzu frowned, and from what the intelligence said, this was an organization that spanned the ninja world, and even the specific strong men were not exposed. From Kakuzu's point of view, such an organization that spanned the ninja world must be extraordinary, but he didn't know what their purpose was. Is it also a tailed beast? Kakuzu felt it necessary to report to the leader. But before that, Kakuzu wanted to investigate, after all, this organization caused him to lose 10 million. This is 3.5 Asuma. With his strength, even if he is defeated, he can retreat unscathed. Of course, this is what he thinks. What? The Wave Country base was attacked. Shisui and Zabuza have received news of the enemy invasion. Are we exposed? If we are, then so be it. Shisui frowned. The distance between the Snow Country and the Wave Country is really too far. Call you and Izumi and ask them to go for support. Shisui has already received the news. There are only two elite Jonin and a few Jonin left in Wave Country, and now they are protected by the barrier. Fortunately, Naruto had developed the means of communication before, otherwise it might be too late. Naruto has also received the news, oh! Has Wave Country been attacked? Izumi and the others may not be able to provide support in time, so I'll go there too. Ju Lama, lend me some chakra. He he he. Naruto appeared in the sealed space with a smile, and a powerful chakra emerged from Naruto. Get out. Don't disturb my sleep. Ha ha ha. Nine tails, thank you. Looking at the fierce appearance of the nine tails, he said too much, but his actions were not slow. It was not convenient for him to leave the village, so he could only arm his shadow clone. With the Nine Tails Chakra, the strength of Naruto's shadow clone was also guaranteed. Carefully slipping out of Konoha, Naruto flew directly into the sky. With a huge amount of chakra, Naruto's speed was directly pulled to the limit. Flying towards the direction of the Land of Waves, Kakuzu is still attacking the barrier madly. Hand over my 10 million. Fire style. Had hard work. The fierce fire continued to burn the barrier, quickly consuming the chakra of the people inside. He came to the land of waves and finally found the base, but it didn't look like a base camp, because the people inside were too bad for him. But surprisingly, there were many physical ninjas among these people, but after seeing his strength, they directly retreated into the barrier. Hold on, the Lord has sent someone to support us. Inside, Soharuduro gritted his teeth and shouted. After Shisui and others moved out of Wave Country, he became the person in charge here. He didn't expect that someone would come to his door today. According to the information, the man in front of him should be the bounty hunter Kakuzu. At this moment, Taro Satsuna was also extremely anxious. He would never allow anyone to destroy the peace here. He had long been tired of the endless wars in the ninja world. It was the Umbrella Organization that made him see the hope of peace. Even if he had to gamble his life and everything he had, he would hold on until the reinforcements arrived. He directly used a method in martial arts to stimulate the blood and then directly squeeze the cells to transform them into chakra. He also began to practice the martial arts training method, because his ninja road had come to an end. If he wanted to become stronger, he had to start from the martial arts. But he was only in the flesh refining stage now, and was far inferior to his ninjutsu realm. Stimulating the blood and chi had much less side effects than simply squeezing the vitality of cells to transform them into chakra, but there would also be damage afterwards. But he couldn't care less now. He directly drilled out of the barrier to buy a little breathing space for the rest of the people. Oh, are you finally not hiding anymore? 
Kakuzu said jokingly. Then he started to act directly. He didn't dare to delay for too long. If he waited until the strong men from the bi human organization arrived, it would be troublesome. One of the reasons why he could live for a hundred years was because he was very cautious. Lightning escape. Pseudo darkness. With a flash of lightning, Sakatsuduro directly blocked Kakuzu's attack. Kakuzu had just fought with him once before, and he clearly felt that his opponent had become stronger. Looking at his snow white face, he immediately understood did he use a secret technique? Kakuzu snorted disdainfully, and began to quickly form seals with his hands. Fire style, fire tornado, wind style, fierce wind, combination ninjutsu, blazing tornado. Kakuzu used the combination ninjutsu directly. Although Kakuzu was powerful, he didn't have a blood limit, so his strength was probably at the bottom among the cage level ninjutsu. His survivability was strong. Therefore, he couldn't defeat early Haruduro for a while. Facing the powerful combination ninjutsu, early Haruduro gritted his teeth and laid down multiple water array walls, but he was still knocked out and spurted out a mouthful of blood. Early Haruduro rushed out again with a knife, moving as fast as a ghost. His speed was good for an elite janin, but it was still not good enough in front of Kakuzu. The cage level was the cage level, and the gap with the elite janin was so huge. He accelerated and formed a seal again. The two kept fighting each other. Early Haruduru's chakra consumption was too great. It's over. Kakuzu shouted softly, releasing a powerful ninjutsu in his hand. A sense of death floated into the heart of Harutaro. I'm sorry, Master Naruto, Master Shisui. I let you down. But the imagined crisis did not come, and a voice came into his ears. Taro, you didn't let me down, I'm not too late. Master Naruto. Sakatsuki Taro's eyes lit up. Let's talk about the past later, let's solve the problem at hand first. Naruto turned around, and a wall of earth that was far superior to that of an ordinary person was erected in front of them. Kakuzu was a little surprised, he only heard a whoosh, and his ninjutsu was intercepted. Have the experts from the Umbrella Organization arrived? Kakuzu murmured, he had no intention of leaving. He still wanted to test the opponent's strength. Are you the top leader or leader of the Umbrella Organization? Kakuzu looked at Naruto and said, Naruto was covered by a cloak, his appearance had changed a little, but he was definitely a young man. Genius, but the ninja world has never lacked geniuses, the most important thing is to survive. Who are you? Naruto asked knowingly. Kakuzu raised a smile at the corner of his mouth and said coldly, I am Kakuzu. Young man, when I see you, I seem to see the scene of fighting with the first Hokage, Hashirama Senju. You are a genius, but you are still far behind Hashirama Senju. Naruto couldn't help but twitch his mouth when he heard what Kakuzu said. He pretended to be shocked. Naruto's acting skills were natural now. Kakuzu thought Naruto was shocked by his words. You have fought with the first Hokage. That's awesome. Naruto then changed the subject and picked his nose and said, are you the ninja who threw a shuriken from 800 meters away to scare away the first Hokage, Hashirama Senju? Looking at Naruto's cynical look, Kakuzu suddenly felt that he was fooled and felt that Naruto was mocking him. He scared away Hashirama Senju, it was more like Hashirama Senju scared him away. But he was also a little surprised in his heart, because what Naruto said was indeed similar to the situation at the time. He received the task of assassinating Hashirama Senju from Takigakur. That group of idiots, Hashirama Senju could not be solved by assassination at all. At that time, he was intimidated by the powerful aura of the first Hokage, Hashirama Senju, and did not dare to make a move. In the end, driven by his dignity, he threw a shuriken from a distance. He was so panicked at the time that he could not remember how many meters it was. In the end, he was defeated by Hashirama Senju's wooden clone and was finally let go by Hashirama Senju. He was a little annoyed at the moment, kid. He quickly formed seals with his hands, and used powerful ninjutsu with boundless momentum to attack Naruto. The battle with the god of ninja world, Hashirama Senju, was something he had always been proud of, but now he was trampled by a little brat. He would make this little brat pay the price. Water style. Exploding water wave. Lightning release. Ground walk. Naruto looked at the ninjutsu released by Kakuzu. 
Kakuzu seemed to be very proficient in ninjutsu, and the coordination between ninjutsu was perfected by him. Want to use water to conduct electricity to attack me? I think you are going to miscalculate. Fire style. Great fire extinguishment. Wind style. Fierce wind palm. Naruto used fire style directly, the wind helped the fire, and the flames burned more vigorously. Although water restrains fire, fire can also restrain water. At the same time, wind style also restrains lightning style. Boom, the attacks of the two collided and cancelled each other out. A cloud of smoke rose, and water vapor immediately enveloped the surroundings. Kakuzu's face was ugly. It seemed that the two were tied, but in fact Naruto had the advantage, because Naruto used fire to evaporate the water. Kakuzu directly did a backflip and occupied a high position. He kept making seals with his hands, and actually formed five kinds of ninjutsu in one breath. Combined, a powerful momentum rose from Kakuzu's body. The powerful ninjutsu rushed towards Naruto. Naruto raised his lips and looked into the distance. Whoosh! Kakuzu's eyes widened. His ninjutsu disappeared directly, and two figures appeared beside Naruto. Izumi had already opened the Mangekyo. It was she who wiped out Kakuzu's attack just now. But it was the first time for her to wipe out such a powerful attack, and her eyes hurt a little. But now her pupil power is sufficient. Naruto had told her the disadvantages of the Mangekyo before, so she rarely used the pupil power of the Mangekyo before. Kakuzu was very shocked, far more shocked than when he saw the ninjutsu disappear just now. He recognized Uchiha Azumi's eyes, the legendary Mangekyo Sharingan. Are you a member of the Uchiha family? Aren't there only Uchiha Itachi and his brother left in the Uchiha family? Kakuzu was shocked. He didn't expect that this organization actually had a member of the Uchiha family, and even opened the Mangekyo Sharingan. The shape of Uchiha Azumi's Mangekyo was very beautiful, a circle with three small tails outside. After being shocked, Kakuzu was already thinking about how to escape. He had to tell the organization about this. With the Mangekyo plus Naruto, and another person who looked equally strong, he was definitely not a match. Kwan looked at Kakuzu carefully, without a trace of emotion on her cold face, as if Kakuzu was not worth mentioning at all to her. Is he the enemy who invaded Wave Country? Azumi's slightly cold voice sounded. Well, his name is Kakuzu, and he is a very powerful bounty ninja. Naruto answered Azumi's question softly. Kakuzu's strength is not very conspicuous among the cage-level ninjas. He has lived for hundreds of years, but he only relies on experience, chakra, and skilled ninjutsu. However, Kakuzu's survivability is still good. If he is given time, he may become stronger, because the Earth Grudge has given Kakuzu unlimited possibilities. The existence of the Earth Grudge can allow Kakuzu to achieve immortality by replenishing his heart, provided that Kakuzu does not commit suicide. Kakuzu, who has a long life, has long learned to judge the situation. Now he is obviously at a disadvantage. He may not be able to deal with the kid in front of him, not to mention the two strong men who have come. If it were an ordinary ninja, even a cage-level ninja, Kakuzu might be able to rely on his lack of intelligence on Kakuzu. He was killed after being untied, and all Kakuzu paid was a heart. Fire style. Head hard work. Wind style. Wind pressure. These two ninjutsu can be said to be Kakuzu's signature ninjutsu. After using these two ninjutsu, Kakuzu immediately used the body flickering technique to escape. The people present were all masters, and as soon as Kakuzu made a move, they discovered his intention. Yu stays behind to take care of Taro, while Izumi and I go after him. He invaded my territory, so he can't get away so easily. Naruto gave an instruction, and disappeared together with Izumi as a phantom. When Kakuzu saw the two people catching up to him, he cursed inwardly, and then quickly formed seals with his hands. The seals Kakuzu formed were water clones, and it was obvious that he wanted to use the water clones to delay time. Two water clones appeared and blocked Naruto and Izumi. Izumi's Mangekyo spun wildly, and with a glare, Kakuzu's two water clones disappeared. Kakuzu's water clones couldn't even stop the two of them for a second. Kakuzu was extremely shocked and sped up again for a while. What kind of weird ability is this? Kakuzu's scalp tingled, and he didn't even have the mind to fight against the two. If he could do it again, Kakuzu would never come to the land of waves to make trouble. If he died, 
who would spend his money. There is no more painful thing in the world than this, that is, people die, but their money is not spent yet. Naruto looked at Izumi using the Mangekio eye technique, and said with concern, Izumi, you don't need to use the Mangekio eye technique. His water clone can only block us for three seconds at most. Sorry, Naruto kun, I was too anxious. Kwan replied softly. Well, it doesn't matter if the person ran away. Now I don't have the ability to deal with the side effects of the kaleidoscope, so I'll try not to use the power of the kaleidoscope if possible. Naruto looked at Izumi's beautiful face, and he knew that Izumi wanted to kill the invader. This girl cared a lot about the foundation they created together. It could be said that it was another home. The land of waves is very small, and they quickly reached the surface of the water at the speed of several people. Naruto had already consumed a lot of chakra before. After all, he flew over from the land of fire at a very fast speed. He could save a little bit, otherwise it would be bad if it dissipated. Izumi nodded slowly, and a warm current surged in his heart. Wouldn't he rather let the invader go than let her suffer from the side effects of the Mangekyo? For a moment, Izumi's speed soared again, and the aura on his body also rose again. Izumi suddenly surpassed Naruto and quickly approached Kakuzu. Feeling the momentum of Izumi, Naruto was a little speechless. Did he say something wrong? Why did Izumi use the power of another Mangekyo? Kakuzu felt the pressure from behind him, and his mind trembled for a while. Did he hide his strength, or did he use some secret method? Fire Style Great Dragon Fire Technique A huge fire dragon flew towards Kakuzu. In order not to be slowed down, Kakuzu directly used his strongest ninjutsu. Earth Escape Earth Spear This earth spear is different from other earth spears. It can make the user's body extremely hardened, like evolving into a steel body. Kakuzu intends to withstand Shachuan's attack. The huge fire dragon submerged Kakuzu, and the blazing flames hit the water surface, instantly evaporating a large area of water mist. A smell of cooked food rose up, and it turned out that the fish in the water were steamed by the high temperature, floating on the water surface in bits and pieces, and some of those closer to the attack turned into ashes or charcoal. Water Style Water Curtain Tent A huge torrent rushed towards Izumi. At this time, Naruto had already arrived beside the two of them. Although Naruto's original body was powerful at the moment, his shadow clone was still a little weak. In addition, Naruto's knowledge was complicated, so the improvement in strength was not very exaggerated, although it was also exaggerated in the eyes of others. In Naruto's eyes, he had the ability of God-rewarding hard work. Most people who persevered in improving their abilities in one aspect would have probably reached a very high level long ago. However, Naruto was very ambitious. Although learning so many things slowed down Naruto's speed of becoming stronger, the reason why Naruto's organization could develop so fast was not only because of Shisui's ability but also because of Naruto's talent. Moreover, everything Naruto has learned now has turned into Naruto's potential, and one day he will be able to soar into the sky. Izumi easily avoided the attack of the water curtain, but it was obvious that Izumi did not notice the water clone that followed behind the water curtain or the battle fighting experience. Just when the water clone's kunai was about to hit Izumi, Naruto came to Izumi's side, directly picked up Kakuzu's water clone's kunai, and directly used the kunai to cut the water clone. The water clone turned into a pool of water and disappeared on the lake. Naruto looked at Izumi. If he hadn't blocked that attack just now, Izumi would probably be slightly injured. Or he could use the power of the Mangekyo to block the attack, but that would be too much of a loss. You know, if you use the Mangekyo too much, you will go blind. During this gap, Kakuzu was not idle and attacked Izumi directly. He also saw that although Izumi's strength was good, his combat experience was still a little lacking, and he could be used as a breakthrough. The black lines transformed by the Earth's resentment emerged densely. Those with claustrophobia will definitely be scared. A Rasengan appeared in Naruto's hand and he shot it at Kakuzu. Kakuzu's eyes condensed and said, The Rasengan of the 4th Hokage. Are you from Konoha? As the standard equipment of the 4th Hokage, the Rasengan has long been known to the people of the ninja world. People in the 4th Hokage period basically know that the Yellow Flash can roam the battlefield with the Flying Thunder God and the Rasengan. Because the Rasengan does not require hand seals, 
dozens of people basically died in the hands of the fourth Hokage after the yellow flash. Kakuzu is in a heavy mood now. Could it be that this organization was secretly developed by Konoha for the purpose of plotting against the ninja world? The information obtained from Wanjin shows that the purpose of this organization is obviously very complicated. It is slowly encroaching on the civilians of the five major countries. There is such a talent in Konoha. He can come up with such a plan. It even takes decades to win over the hearts of the people. Kakuzu's many years of experience allow him to see the consequences of Umbrella's actions. But he is still too narrow-minded. Naruto's goal is not to boil a frog in warm water. Instead, in the next few years, while the Akatsuki organization comes to the fore, it will sweep the world with lightning speed, encompass the universe, and encompass the four seas. Completely end the ninja era. He will end the era that Hashirama Senju single-handedly established with his own hands. Only with great unification can peace truly come. Kakuzu's heart was trembling, but at the same time, he was full of energy. This news was too important. Naruto didn't know what Kakuzu had imagined. If he knew, he would probably laugh to death. Kakuzu actually thought that the Umbrella Organization was Konoha's white glove. Kakuzu's momentum was released, and dense earth grievances began to fly all over the sky, which looked extremely terrifying. Even Izumi frowned when she saw it. She was also a girl. Seeing such a terrifying thing, she couldn't help but want to get rid of him completely. Lightning escaped fake darkness. A mask on Kakuzu suddenly opened its mouth, and bolts of lightning immediately struck the two of them. Because they were on the water, the lightning even flown along the water surface towards them. Izumi formed seals again, and the fire escape immediately turned into fast flying small balls and hit Kakuzu. Kakuzu didn't even dodge, and launched the fake darkness again to hit the two of them. The Earth Escape Earth Spear gave him super strong defense, but there is always a limit. Now he has actually been burned by the heat of the fire escape. Naruto kept flipping on the water, and suddenly Kakuzu felt a palpitation of death coming. Naruto's hand began to gather chakra, and the visible chakra gradually formed into wind-style Resenshuriken. High-density wind-style energy, each strand has extremely strong penetrating power. The defense of Earth-style Earth Spear can't defend against such a terrifying attack. In just a moment, Kakuzu analyzed how terrifying Naruto's attack was. Naruto's wind-style Resenshuriken is considered a good ninjutsu even among S-level ninjutsu. Kakuzu's fingers moved slightly. Naruto's attack has already arrived in front of him, powerful the wind escape technique hit Kakuzu's body, and an extremely powerful chakra wave erupted. A whirlwind exploded wildly, cutting everything around it crazily. Izumi couldn't help but feel palpitations when she saw such a terrifying attack. She was afraid that she could only use the Uchiha clan's ultimate secret technique, Suzano, to compete with Naruto. Even the illusion that the Uchiha clan was proud of had little effect on Naruto. Not to mention that Naruto was the Nine Tails Jinchuriki, if you want to immerse Naruto in an illusion, you must cast a double illusion, and only illusions of level A and above can work on Naruto. It will take effect, and Naruto will be able to break free of the A-level illusion soon. Although Naruto's mental strength grows slowly, it is still growing slowly with the help of God's reward for hard work. Kakuzu's body looks like it has been torn apart. In Azumi's eyes, Kakuzu is dead as hell. But Naruto is a little puzzled. Kakuzu has a grudge against the earth and it is difficult to kill him. He must be killed five times. It is impossible to destroy all five hearts of Kakuzu at once. Naruto was a little worried that Kakuzu was cheating. Seeing that Izumi wanted to go up to check the situation, Naruto quickly said, wait a minute. After waiting quietly for half a minute, there was still no movement from Kakuzu's corpse, and Naruto suddenly had an idea in his mind. He hurried forward to check and turned over the mask. It was Kakuzu, but Kakuzu suddenly turned into water. It turned out to be a water clone. Naruto frowned. Kakuzu was gone now, and he recalled the details of the battle just now. If Kakuzu had used the water clone before being hit, he would definitely have been noticed by himself, but if Kakuzu had used the water clone in the short time when he was hit, Naruto would have to admire him. Being able to endure severe pain and survive with a broken arm is not something that ordinary people can do. After Kakuzu used the golden silkworm to shed his shell, 
he took advantage of the chakra burst and turned into a stream of water to escape. After figuring it out, Naruto couldn't help but admire him. He is worthy of being a ninja who has lived for so long. He has rich combat thinking and experience, and acts decisively. Here, Kakuzu who had already escaped couldn't help but feel heartbroken. This time he lost two hearts. This was after he hardened his body with Earth Style, Earth Spear, otherwise Kakuzu estimated that he would have lost a heart. Kakuzu didn't dare to stop for a moment, and continued to move forward quickly, because he didn't know whether the two people would catch up with him. He also had to bring the news back. Kakuzu had already circled around, and after he had restored his heart, Kakuzu found a safe environment and began to contact the leader. Kakuzu told all his experiences. Nagato's incarnation, pain, thought about it, a mysterious organization. Okay, got it, call a meeting of the members. These are Pain's original words. On Naruto's side, Kwan frowned, twitched her cute nose, and said, did he run away? Well, go back, Naruto replied softly, aren't you going to continue searching? This may lead to our complete exposure. Izumi turned to look at Naruto and said, it's okay, with our current strength, it doesn't matter even if we are exposed. Although ninjas are powerful, they are still ordinary people. The nobles who depend on us will not easily let us suffer losses. We control the largest grain export on the market. There are also many nobles who secretly control us. Even if they are exposed, the daimyo will not easily let us start a war unless it threatens the entire ninja world. Otherwise, at most he would just send a small team to attack us. And we are not afraid of the attack of the small team, if they want to fight, then come. Naruto said confidently. Kwan thought about it, and followed Naruto's train of thought, as if they had become a behemoth now, her thinking was still stuck in the past, an organization could be comparable to a big country, this is simply too crazy. In fact, in the original work, if the Akatsuki organization came out to fight in a group, I am afraid that no ninja village could resist it. In the original work, Pain destroyed the entire Konoha by himself, if it were not for the use of the reincarnation technique under Naruto's mouth. I am afraid that the entire Konoha, the overall strength will drop by several stages. If there was no Obito and the 100,000 white Zetsu behind, and Konoha was not resurrected by the reincarnation, it would probably be another end. Maybe Danzo could realize his dream of becoming a Hokage, and rely on the root organization to gain the right to speak and successfully ascend to the throne. Other ninja villages are not easy to deal with. When an external enemy is too powerful, they have to unite, because the target of the Akatsuki organization is the tailed beast, the entire ninja world. The later Naruto and Sasuke are equivalent to the previous Madara pillar, and the deterrence of the two is like a mushroom bomb. When the two were alive, the ninja world did not dare to fight too much, and Sasuke realized at that time that the ninja world must be unified if it wanted real peace. Sasuke embarked on the path that Madara had taken before, and chose to bear everything, while Naruto chose to redeem Sasuke again. The battle between the two also made Sasuke choose to believe in Naruto again. Maybe they are both right, or they are both wrong. The ninja world lacks the right ideological guidance. It is destined not to be what they imagined. Only a revolution of blood and fire can establish a truly immortal empire. If you want real peace, you have to solve the problem of resources and the ideological problem of the people. If they don't have the same idea, how can they coexist peacefully? The imbalance of resources will inevitably lead to class conflicts. This is why other ninja villages always want to attack Konoha. If they don't attack Konoha, will they attack your sand village? There are stone deserts everywhere. You may not even be able to earn back the supplies after a battle. Under the leadership of the third Hokage, these ninja villages have long understood the temper of the third Hokage. The high-level officials, led by the third Hokage, will not ask for compensation from the defeated ninja villages even if other ninja villages lose. They may even take the initiative to seek peace. This has been the case several times in the past. Or just a symbolic effort, it's nothing serious. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.